Yeah, he actually said it in the Dragon Ball movie right before he told the bad guy, "You got Dragon Balls." You've been Dragon Balls. Oh, wait, that didn't fix anything. Ugh. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Superman 64. Oh, that's not on here, but there's other shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that again, no. You whore. Okay. That's what they call me. Oh man, oh man. Man, oh man. So we got we got a lot of shit to get done. We have so much work to do. Because god damn it, next week will be the finale. It must be. Or we just put the playthrough on pause because I, I want to play Pokemon <laughs> I mean uh, I forget hold on let me let me check I already I already have next week scheduled for physical therapy I scheduled it last week even let me see. oh we're not gonna do any activity points or training points oh had we not done that yet no Eat. I was gonna say we're we're that pressed for time. We're, we are quite pressed for time, for sure. What's up, guys? Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. So I scheduled my physical therapy, but I didn't put it in my phone. You fool! Uh, I know at the very least I won't be able to do uh until like well honestly because I'll be, I'll be done at armor oaks around four so i probably couldn't be here until like 4 30 at the earliest <clears throat> doesn't remember this dies dies Yeah, we're good. He's just a sweet, sweet, sweet be boy. He's a sweet, sweet, sweet be boy. Dorothea learned lethality. Lethal. Just proc lethality. Just, just broccoli palette. Oh man, oh man. Your name, oh man. Fuck. But my whole point is, uh, I believe we probably could also meet a little earlier than we usually do. Although, at this point, is four or five a little earlier than we usually do? No. It's not. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> well. I mean, we're, we're what? On chapter 11? I have no idea. Yeah, if we're kind of no-braining the training. And as long as we don't dick around too much with our... Uh, Activity points. I think we could probably uh, get shit get shit done. Snacktivity. Basic. The silver heart. Because she needed. Uh, she hasn't mastered silver heart yet. Damn it! Because she needed a personal intermediate class like she's was, I guess. Basic. You basic bitch. What are you? He's a holy knight. He's a daddy. But what if dark knight? Do you prefer dark knight? Aesthetically. 
<laughs> then make him a Dark Knight. Can't wait to see how you do. You've got no ward available. See, this is what I meant about dicking around in the camp. What? A large bullion. My bullion is so large. Okay. Um, That's a large bullion, dude. My bullion so large. <laughs> Fucking kill me. Please. I am going to look up real quick. Continue, of course. But I'm going to look up and see uh, when we get access to the dancer class so we don't skip that mission. Because I have a feeling that you're going to want to start skipping some missions. Maybe. Like how my arch nemeses back there are just hanging out and they're like, wonder what he's gonna make for us. But it's gonna taste like ass. But it's gonna taste like shit. You know what? This is nice. <laughs> drinks? We're going drinking with Gerald? Why not? I feel like basic is the opposite of wild when she's drunk. <laughs> she just gets seepy. Just her usual stoicness, but now she's liable to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it, yeah. I like her face. <clears throat> I got a great solid. Okay, so we're gonna get it in chapter twelve. And apparently I don't remember having to do this for the golden deer, but I was doing all the side missions anyway. But apparently we have to complete all the side missions in order to unlock the spot we need to get that class. That means we complete every side mission, every battle in the chapter, it says. Are there no chores that Basic and Gerald can do? At the same time? Yeah. I mean, they can maintain equipment together for sure, but they're not... It's just not ideal for both of them. <clears throat> Probably same with caring for the horses. I doubt it's going to be the opposite of ideal. I doubt they'll have down arrows. Damn near did, though. So close. You trying to get them to support together? Yeah. Because they didn't get two and three houses? Yeah. Because he fucking died? Because he fucking died, yeah. But she don't have an up arrow. You're wrong. <laughs> See, it was perfect. Oh shit! It's just because Gerald is so good at horse. <laughs> See. See. New support conversation. Yay! Yeah. Right. Oh. Um. Remember how to get to the menu. I do. I suppose, yeah, you can finish using up activity points before doing that. <gasps> you know what we can do? What? We can go on a date with our arch nemeses. Oh, hell yeah. Hold on, can we? Yeah, we got C support with her. It just didn't trigger a combo. We 
We can talk to Gerald. Papa in law. <laughs> the fuck you talking about, kid? This was your idea. Basic mowed her down. <laughs> Destroyed in seconds. Actually, yeah. Actual seconds. So that's what this is about. You have a grudge against me? What would she's was do here? <sighs> But you'd be a person. <laughs> yeah, but I bet you didn't have support levels with any of them. Imagine being a person. <laughs> Sparring. Like you know, part of me is relieved. I don't think I could have beaten the Ash and Demon anyway. Hey now, what about me? Or are you saying you could take me? Well, no, unless I try. By the way, for a regular guy just catching some fish, you haven't even got your hook on. Arthritis? Mm. Carpal tunnel. They just kind of like brush over it in three houses, but Gerald is like over a hundred years old. Yeah. Well. In this timeline. Yeah. In this universe. In Earth 2. Too bad your job was murder. Well, she. Oh, Who do you think would win in a fight? No holds barred, cage match. Basic or she's whiz. Basic or she's whiz? Gosh, I don't know. She's whiz or Gerald? Probably she's whiz. Wait a minute. Huh. It says there's... It says it's ideal for basic, right? Yeah, but you already did a chore with her. Oh, okay. What you looking for? My arch nemesis. I think she's behind you in the kitchen. I was wrong. Where is Are she? Are you sure you clicked on? Oh, there she is. I did. She's Good morning. Doing, she's doing her her uh, trademark. 
She, you recruit her, and the first place she went was the academy. Yeah. To. <laughs> behind the desk. Yeah. Like a teacher. I feel like I'm supposed to be here. Bodle in a hellhole. Yeah. More or less. Just a lot of shit goes on there. It's going to woods. No one will hear you scream. Good scream or bad scream? I'll let you decide. Okay. Who won? Who's next? You decide. I know I'm supposed to hate you, but it feels like we're about to kiss right now. Are we about to kiss right now? I feel like we're about to kiss right now. <laughs> I think we're about to kiss right now. What are your worries? We don't know till you try. Question. Be relieved. <laughs> oh, your problems are so minor. That's good. Let's see. Pushes Shez pile together. Have kids. <laughs> um, the internet wants that to happen. Mm, damn it, she didn't like that. See, this one might actually be the hardest one because I have no idea what her personality is. She likes fishing. She definitely likes fishing. <laughs> And picking up random shit and finding who it belongs to. Yep. <laughs> ah, she wants to be praised, not nagged. <laughs> not what? Nagged. Ah, better than what I thought I heard. What did you ask her? What her preferred fighting style. Uh, Get competitive over it? I mean, are we really on her radar? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. We beat her twice in one time. Beat. <laughs> she likes that. You nodded? No, I uh, got competitive over it. Ah. She liked that. Thank you. But we didn't get to look respectfully. Oh, we can look respectfully. We didn't get to look disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got two activity points. You can do whatever you want with them. But I don't think it'll not let us take her on another date. Yeah, it won't. Uh, we're done with Petra, right? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember, but I think so. She was talking about returning to Brigid with her. Right, that's right. We we gotta go back to fucking Brigid. <laughs> yeah, Louise, you don't want to go on a date. You're not real. Hey. Oh shit. Hey there. Hi, Geralto. Want to go on a date with me, Geralto? Seem a little young, kid, but sure. <laughs> Younger than you think. <laughs> what? Younger than I think. I don't like that. I don't like what you're implying. I'm implying that Gerald is older than she's with his nose. Ah. Uh. Oh, fuck yeah. You like mushrooms? No. But I like the idea of going and looking for them. I like finding stuff. <laughs> Fair enough. My kid's still pretty green. Yeah. Her hair. She turned pretty she turned very green fairly recently. <laughs> Struggle to answer. Can't carry a conversation. I like that. Hmm, maybe he would have. <laughs> so 
Something like this is not what I would have expected him to say. Look at that smile. Bro, who got you smiling like that? <laughs> oh, he, he didn't like He it. wants to punch us. I guess. <laughs> Tell us your age. We don't get an exact number, but like I said, I know in three houses they, they brushed over him being like over a hundred years old. Because crest blood. Well, that didn't work out very well. Uh, that went worse than our date with her daughter. His daughter. Her daughter. Our daughter. Their daughter. We're daughter. He, she, we, we're all daughter. Be happy because he got a great excuse to stay as far away from Raya as possible. I mean, except I'd assume that's exactly where we're headed. Yeah. To kill her. True. And her cloaca. God damn it. <laughs> so I've got to ask a question, and you can't laugh. <laughs> Tell me you're a scaly without telling me you're a scaly. Before us, with rich flora and fauna, your senses are overwhelmed by unknown sights and smells. Gather mushrooms, pick fruits. <laughs> she make joke. You funny, Monica. Don't write letters then. <laughs> she doesn't. Oh, we we know this. One. Yeah, we've answered that question before. I didn't know. That. It's been a while since we've dated Monica. Monica okay. has one brain cell devoted to be a massive lesbian. Good for her. Good for her. She's only got the one brain cell and it's vibrating as fast as it can. Into a vagina. Oh god. Just... Itty 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 itty. Everyone here is so incredible. It can be a little intimidating after all. I want to be considered considered worthy to serve Her Majesty's side. All of the, her sides. <laughs> Get competitive. Um, <laughs> I. She doesn't like that. Fair enough. I didn't want to do that, but it's fine. Oh, okay. What if she doesn't will it? I mean, we as the player know that they're just mole people terrorists. Oh, Fuck. Didn't like, why didn't she like that? Well met. Okay, bye. We oh. have a new support. Probably with her. Probably with her. Imagine. Turns out it's Ash. It's just Ash. Why? I was uh. I was standing behind that tree. <laughs> <laughs> I liked some of the things you guys were talking about. It made God. me want to get closer with you. <laughs> That'd be one way to do a support. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Build your support with one character just to unlock a conversation with another. Yeah. That would be so complicated. <laughs> you would have to learn to all of the competition. True. Mm -hmm. Even your fine work. Are you about to do some yandere shit? It feels like you're about to do some yandere shit.
Wouldn't make sense for you to be jealous. She's just the love of your life. <laughs> You're nothing. You're a dirty God. hobo. You live in the forest, surrounded by fungus. Of which you are one. A uh, fun guy? You're a super fun guy. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> Shut up. So you are just. <laughs> well, you're frowning, so I don't know if I believe you. Yeah, you basically just admitted it. I certainly did not. You did. You said you were jealous that Edelgard and I are so close. Well, to be fair, she said that she wasn't. It just did. Ha ha! Now suplex her. <laughs> just, that's what I thought. She a cringe fail lesbian. That enough. We need more cringe fail lesbian characters. Yes. Man, oh man. No, I, I still haven't finished this route on my own. And I don't think I've finished Monica's support chain. So I don't know if she gets any better about it. Oh, playing wingman? Uh, what's come to what now? We just have to show it. Come on, let's go. Nice. Nice. Let's go! I mean, that would be the way to make sure we don't get in her way. Ask us to be her wingman. Exactly. Okay, so this one, we need to defeat 2,000 enemies in the chapter. Yeah, so we probably won't get it right away, but as we continue playing, it'll eventually unlock. This seems easy enough. Who's coming? Who is coming? Come. Eighty Laurie mm. Nah, bring whoever you want. But you gave Happy Monica's book. Or Lol, you Yeah, we kinda ended up sort of halfway benching Monica. Yeah. And and we know you don't need to bring She's Wiz. But goddamn, is his personal class not good? Or is it is good? It is. Goddamn, it's, it's words are hard. God He's damn, good. It's good. <laughs> it's a good class. It's a good class. I'll bring Ubert. And I want to try out. I mean, there's so many female majors anyway. True. That is true. I think we've got like <clears throat> we, we're not really regularly using Monica. No. Never. I think Happy's Happy and Hubert are, have kind of become our go-to mages. That sounds right. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. We did also just recruit Mercedes. I remember. Yeah. I am I in there? Did I get in there? Yeah, you're in there. Okay, I'm in there. 
You're Monica, in. Dorothy, and Manuel, Constance, Happy, Marion. You get so many in Scarlet Blaze. It's kind of crazy. And technically, you could count any female towards that, since anyone can be anything. And there's so many women! It's crazy! We should, uh, Issue some orders. Tell people where to go, yeah. Yeah, I was just kind of running out there. I wasn't sure where I was going. That Edelgard raw sapphic energy. Man, oh man. <laughs> Women are all throwing themselves at her feet. Slay so wishes he had her game. Yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Man, oh man. I could be wrong, but part of me feels like Sylvain kind of doesn't on some level, doesn't really want to be super successful. I think you are correct. I should have given her a weapon. Boom. Basic. Or does she have the... I think she comes with uh, the Night Captain's sword. Because she doesn't get the uh, sword of the creator in this game. Right. I didn't even realize you fielded basic. I wanted to try her out. Uh, Silverheart and Enlightened One are pretty good classes. They're not bad. They're just kind of a less fast version of uh, of She's She's his classes. Yeah, you can get it in New Game Plus, and she can use it. But it's. I mean, it's alright, but the Knight Captain Sword is also a perfectly fine sword. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the route I played on my own first was uh, Golden Wildfire. And I did bring Byleth. Uh, to uh, the final fight of that, if you uh, know that is. So that was pretty entertaining. Just die already. There we go. I mean, you spend so much of the game getting your butt handed to her, you by her. It feels like she should feel pretty strong. Getting your butt handed to her. Words are hard. I've had a long day. I can. I basically had a workout just before I came over here. Cut me some slack. That's amazing. What is? Imagine working out. I mean, that's basically all physical therapy is. No, yeah. I'm doing the shit. No Commoner here. Oh, you're already on that shit. Do we super care about trying to S rank missions? No. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh my god, Hubert is up against so much. I think I might swap to him and help him out. Yeah, maybe. So you gave Happy a command. She'll be fine. Or we could send AD to help him. Could send AD. Could send him to finish what she was doing. Yeah, AD can probably handle this better than he can. He's still a dark mage and not a dark bishop. Uh, I, I do recall, we forgot to go by the shop and buy master seals and such when we were in uh, in the camp, didn't we? 
Because the only reason he's not promoted yet is I forget if we were trying to master Dark Mage or if we just didn't have enough seals. I think we might have just not had enough seals. Seal. Let me get you out of there, boy. I did it already. Nice. <laughs> you did what already? The side mission. Nice. Or was it just popping up that a side mission had been given? I was pop popping up that a side mission had been given and then it immediately popped up saying the side mission was complete. <laughs> nice. Because, like, I was in the process of killing the, the things for the side the mission. Did that guy die? No. I see him on the map. Right there. He mastered Dark Mage. Yeah, I don't know if we did that just before this mission, when we were in camp and didn't realize, or what have you. Because the plan right now is, uh, a couple weeks from now, when Pokemon is out, that's what we want to stream. So we're trying to finish this before that comes out. So we've hit the point where we're kind of just, uh, kind of speeding through the rest of the game. What is the dodge button in this game? Is it B? It's B. Okay, I've been Have you never once clicked it? No, I've been playing a different game, a different hack and slash game, and uh, it has a different dodge button. <laughs> right. Well, any which way, uh, after this battle, if we want, we can go make Hubert a Dark Bishop. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. It got worse. I didn't realize that so many things went down there. It's got worse. Here I, go. no mistakes. They must learn I mean, we could just... Hope you get the warrior special charged. Honestly, that would come in pretty clutch here. <laughs> He'll be fine. There's so much. There's so much going on over there. I'm coming. I'm coming to save you, Hoobie. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm good, I'm good, I'm chilling. Just Edelgard heard that her sweet Hubert was was in danger. <laughs> there we go. Who's left? A Paladin? Easy mode. Wyvern Knight? Hardly know her. Wyvern Knight, Wyverns, right? There we go. Oh, he's not dead from that? Not dead. Yeah, just because I want to do it. I want Hubert's warrior special to finish charging. Come on, you can get it before we end the bat. Never mind, you can't get it. Does Hubert still have a faith spell equipped? Why? Uh, it might be heal. Just because we didn't really end up super using Linhart, who is like supposed to be your go-to white magic boy. And Hubert can still learn healing spells, so we figured, why not? She went above and beyond. Yeah, when I played through the game on my own, I found that I didn't really end up using them super often, except on, like, main missions on the secondary characters that you don't actually get to control. Oh, he died. 
<laughs> damn. Oh god damn. Yeah, yeah, we know that as well. And I know after playing him, that's supposed to be optimal. Uh, and that might be what we end up doing moving forward, just because saving time, if nothing else. But I know when I played through the game, even though it was optimal, it still felt weird. Like, almost what was the point of bringing them? Almost. <laughs> He's pretty awful. Yeah. That's true, that's true. And I know that's why it's optimal. But when I played through, I found myself pulling up the, uh, whatever you want to call it, the tactics map, like every, like after beating every enemy that I fought. So that I could, you know, switch people around if I wanted to give orders. I probably was in that map way more than most people are for this hack and slash game. Kill together with their Homori Rock energy. I almost wish they did rock the man up. Because perhaps then. Dude, I don't doubt for a second you murdered your father. <laughs> what? Oh. I'm just saying. This guy? <laughs> totally committed patricide. I'd believe it. I forget what stat Miracle Bean is, but Rocky Burdock is strength. trying to work on his presentation to convince Bernadetta and Ferdinand about the pros of patricide. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think both their fathers kind of suck. I think Bernadetta knows the pros of patricide. Stephen Houses is unsubtle that he killed his dad. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, we probably want to... Never mind. I was going to say we probably want to... Uh, buy seals yeah, to make sure we have them. Buy... You mean... Spend money? I mean... You're doing much better on gold than I was in my playthrough, but I was also leveling people up. You mean... Do things? We had Count fun. Barley getting a new job with a neon sign that says, Rhea assassinate me, was such a girl boss move of Edelgard. <laughs> We don't need the intermediate seals, my guy. I won't buy any more. We're at 69 now. <sighs> <laughs> I won't buy any more. You know what? It's whatever. It's not like we're going to spend the gold on anything else, it, I guess. We're at 69 now. Jesus H. Buy more master classes. We could only buy the two, and we haven't got Anna in the uh, in the camp yet. I think this I've, is a new game minus playthrough. We have seven. So Dark Bishop. Oh, we have seven. Why didn't we have him promoted then? I don't know. It's been two weeks since we've played this game. I don't fucking remember. <clears throat> I don't remember either. Also, this game is baby easy. True. <laughs> so like, it's fine. <laughs> This Fisher Price baby game. This Fisher Price baby game for children. Honestly, they took some cues from Pokemon. Honestly, uh, I joke, but that is also a Fisher Price level game. What? No, 
Uh, do I want to make her a bow knight or just leave her in sniper? Uh, there's no pro to staying in sniper this time like there is in houses. Because uh, Hunter's Volley transfers with you, and because it's a hack and slash, Hunter's Volley is not the dumb, busted ass, broken combat art that it was in Houses. Okay. Also, she's so cute. Also, that. Also, it took me a while to realize this in my playthrough, but cavalry classes they they do move around the map faster. I I think I have noticed that. Um, oh, that reminds me. We also have Yuri. The fetters of Dromi give that same effect. Nice. We should just leave him in dark night. Until you dismount from your horse. True, true. But I'm trying to remember. I don't think I ever really had anyone dismount when I played. If there was something that just had horse effective weaponry, I just didn't send them that way. Happy is already in Grummery. They fly Scythia Grummery. She gets to commit murder. Uh, do we not have her promoted? Or do we have her? Are we using her? Uh, on occasion. We can I'll leave it up to you, my guy. Let's put her in Grimmery. Mostly just because I... mean, better I, to have her a Grimmery in case we decide we want to feel her Mostly just because I like the Grimmery dress on her. It looks good on everyone. Doesn't it, though? Although I do think it looks very good on her. It's very good. Hey, Marianne, you want to be a Grimmery? Uh, we have fielded Yuritsa once. He might not be able to be a Death Knight yet. Because I don't think he mastered Cavalier ever. Or if he did, we didn't spend a seal to get him Paladin, so he definitely doesn't have that mastered. But I might be remembering wrong. He might have mastered. Is her dress that deep of blue in houses? No idea, but I like it. Anyway. I also usually make her a, uh, a dancer anyway. Alt T. Become a War Master. Power up. Charge up. Super Saiyan God. Let's go. Yeah? Yeah. We might as well check. Can we promote Yuritsa into Time Death Knight? has come. I'm ready nope, to go. but we can make him a paladin. <laughs> what? That's so fucking silly. Adventuring. I mean, we have plenty of seals. You might as well oh. give him paladin. <laughs> okay. I'm not touching that, man. That's that's your call, my guy. I mean, he gets ups for this, but this is cool. I mean, really, because Holy Knight and Dark Knight work the way they do as opposed to houses... He's still primarily using his lance anyways, mm. so his strength doesn't... They have the same strength modifier, so if it is all about the aesthetics to you, you can just make him a Dark Knight. Mm. Oh, Patrick. You can press Y to check class abilities or Y again to see what you learn. Yep, yep, we do know that. We do recall that. I feel like the trickster outfit either hits or misses, and on her, I feel like it's a miss. Yeah, it's not my favorite. I hate the fucking elf shoes. <laughs> we can always go back to our tent and just set her to have her standard outfit. Yeah. Yeah. He's already. Dead He's dead his dead. personal class, Asura. And she's. Um, Emperor. Emperor. Mm -hmm. Because she has bad temper. We don't have Dancer yet. Like I said, this is New Game Minus, not New Game Plus. Hey, uh, Ash, you want to be a Wyvern Lord? <clears throat> Look at him in his gold armor. Maybe. <laughs> we'll find out if we ever field you again. We fielded him on occasion. I know. That's I, why I said again. I just like the sweet boy. Oh, he's good. He's good. But he's falling behind is all I'm saying. Oh, you are correct about that. Although, if you ever want to change stuff like that, you have gold to spend for level ups. We do. Actually, we do, we do, we do. Uh, let's, let's fix him real quick. Let's put him on the... On, behind you. On par behind me. Is that at the training yep. place too? Okay. 
you don't have to fast travel. I was about to say. Yeah, I'm trying to. Rem I try to remember when where the sprint button is every single time I come to a camp. This isn't where it is. It's the one labeled level up. Level up this one. Yep. The this one. <laughs> Where, where are we at, kind of, on average? Uh, the highest we're going to be able to level someone up to is whatever our highest level unit is. In this I'll case, I think that she's is at 30. Or no, it's Lawrence it's at 37. It's and Yuri. It's the people we just got at 37. Oh, nice. <laughs> and Lawrence. Well, we do love that man, so. God damn it. Okay. Well, I love that man. I, I do enjoy that man, for sure. We'll pop him. How much of that is you actually liking him, though, and how much of it is just my love of him rubbing off? I mean, he's an alright guy. He's not my favorite, for sure, but I do like he him. He is my favorite. I know. We know <laughs> that. Everyone knows that. <laughs> okay. So there's this character named Lawrence. Hell Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. And I love the shit out of that man. Lawrence Hellman's Glopster. Ew. That's because he glops Hellman's mayonnaise everywhere. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Wait, the Dark Knight and their allies reach their destination? Yeah, the Dark Knight. Not the Dead. Oh, I was about to say, is Yuritsa getting fielded against our will? Against he Against us. <laughs> Yes, against our will. <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah, Night Captain Sword is her perf weapon in this game. Nice, nice, nice. We can field our uh, our mans. Yeah. I stand ready. I stand ready. We'll pop you. You can over. stand in my pants. Here. That's good, that's good, that's good. And just cuz. Just cuz we can. <laughs> I mean, hey. You like Ash? We can play with Ash. Now. I gotta get in there! I got you. Shishton. Shave. Game. It's been a little bit since we've messed with weapons. We should do that, huh? Yeah. Uh, convoy. convoy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You had the right of it. Um, we just give him a hammer. We certainly could. Yeah. Wait. Uh, what was the? What were the effects on the hammer? The hammer. Oh, I thought I saw boosted mounted damage. No. Something said boost mounted damage. Tomahawk seems good. I don't think boost aerial attacks just means he'll always get that because he's on a wyvern. I think it means, like... I'm not sure what that means. The might is good, though. It is good might, yes. We could equip the tomahawk. It's up to you. Let's do it. Do it. Tomahawk chop is my death blow. Renewal is just heal over time, if I remember correctly. Bless you. Thank you. Actually, there Just the plain speed ring? Yeah. What's good against uh, bows? Um, magic. magic. Tomes. Uh, I don't think that'll work the way you think it does, though, just because the bows still have super effective damage against the flyingness of it all. Mm -hmm. uh, if he dismounts, though, he would have advantage against them. Okay. 
He would need to negate his flying weakness. He would need something like the Aurora Shield. Gotcha. Which I don't remember if we have that yet. I don't think we have, but we can check. Uh, that's not where that would be. This is where that would be, and it would be at the top since it's a shield. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, so we don't have that yet. Oh well. It still works. Well enough. And she's fine. Woo! Also, uh, I think after this map, we can go ahead and visit the forge and see what we can do about upgrading our uh, heroes' relics and sacred weapons. Because they get dummy busted when you upgrade them. Oh, nice. This one's nice. Why can't you equip it? Huh? Oh. Well, this one's better, but this. One's I see. Better. I see the issue. I see the issue. But this one's nice. It is. It is. I do. N uh, a spoiler for Pokemon. I do not want. No, if that's what you mean. That's probably what he means. What's it a spoiler for, my guy? It's probably. For Pokemon. It's Pokemon, I don't want it. I've been dodging that shit left and right for the past, like, three days now. Dark types? Oh, God. They've got dark... Now I know everything about the game. They've got dark types. God damn it. I do like dark types. They're probably like my third favorite type. Behind grass and fairy. That is my favorite type. Hmm. Fairy Pokemon are just so cool. They make me proud to have been called one in high school. <laughs> Electric types are also pretty dope. Good to go? I think so. Aight. Let's go. Um, what is my favorite? Do you have a plan of attack? No. Okay, well we have to rescue the green peeps. Attack. I have a plan? Attack! Uh, oh, oh, I see the issue. The, the, you're the joystick on the sticks. Is that what you meant? Uh, no. Um, it just kind of doesn't have full field of movement in a circle. Right, I got you. Uh, you know what? Let's 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 let Ash do some work. We brought him. He's here. He is here. You want eighty to do anything specific? Um, senders us somewhere. She'll do good. Technically. I mean, she would. She'd probably kill it. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Sure. Work! Alright, let's get this. This hashtag gamer bread. I thought you said this didn't have a, uh, a rumble on it. It's not that it doesn't have a rumble, it's that it has a worse rumble than the proper pro controller does. Ah. It has a different rumble. Like the, the Nintendo brand pro controllers have. It's the kind of rumble you want to, like, hold the controller in your crotch, I get you. Have, like, the HD rumble where you can, like, feel different types of rumbling for different situations. Whereas this only has the one rumble? Just kind of goes no matter what. I gotcha. It cannot change its rumble intensity. It is. And I very much like the HD rumble. I know it's not, like, 
It doesn't really matter, but it feels good. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of rumble you hold in your crotch. Maybe. I, I can't tell. Are you following me or am I asking? Not, not a clue. Go where you, go where you gotta go, guy. Okay, I'm gonna I'm a pause real quick. Oh god, <clears throat> Ash, do a thing. And where, where did Lawrence go? Someone's beat the game already. I mean, that doesn't surprise me. It's been out. Oh, you took him up here instead. I got you. Where do you want me to go with him? Over there. I figured to uh, go fight the thing that's super effective against the thing that we're trying to kill. Okay. But it works either way. Well, they'll be they'll be fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. Ready? Uh. Bark. There's so many bow enemies over here. Yeah, no, the game is definitely already out there, uh, so it does not surprise me that people have already beaten it. I mean, if it has been out for over 30 hours, yeah. <laughs> Even just a day, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Because like. I, I made the joke earlier, but Pokemon is a dumb, stupid, easy Fisher-Price baby game. You don't need a whole RPG's worth of time to beat it. Those those games typically take me around like thirty to forty. Usually. And I bet most of that is just because you're just having fun and doing shit, exploring. Yeah, I'm not like barreling through it, and also I don't know exactly where to go. Right. <clears throat> Like, I, I doubt I'll have the game beaten, like, quick, quick, within a day or two of getting the game, but only because it sounds like there's a whole lot that you can do in this game, and I'm probably gonna get off the beaten track. Imagine. Enemy reinforcement. Imagine doing side content in a video game. I mean... Ah, a noble woman being attacked by a trickster. Hold on, where is that? I feel like we don't know. Oh, there it is. Huh. Get over there. All of a sudden, Lawrence looks real good over here. What? Uh, but I can go over there and do something about it. Uh, 80. Here I go. go kill this sniper in the War Master's way. And Ash. Swords, get the fuck out of there, you idiot. Ready? Work! Uh. It's swords, get the fuck out of there, you idiot. Honestly! What were you thinking? Nothing. I defeated one of the tricksters. Defeat the rest of them. I'm working on it. So I've been playing Horizon. Yeah. Because I, I realized, uh, since I... The, uh... When the PlayStation like online plans upgraded to have the new shit that they have now, I uh, 
the way it worked, I I got like some time for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, enemy commander something. Interesting. Let's go kill him. But uh, because of the way it worked, uh, I've still got. I went ahead and knocked it down because I don't feel like paying however much it is for the game pass thing. Yeah. The subscription thing. Like, I'm sure it's nice, but, like, there's only a few games on there that look worth playing. Horizon being one of them. Bloodborne. Bloodborne's another one. Bloodborne! Like I said, I've got some time left on that subscription thing, so I'll probably also play that. Didn't Horizon, like, come with your PlayStation? The new one did. Oh! So that's I see. why I'm playing Zero Dawn, since it came. since I can play it for free, basically. I see, I see, I see. But, uh, I've been playing that, and I don't know if you played that game. I, uh, I bought that game around the same time that I bought Breath of the Wild, and I never ended up playing it. Well, I've enjoyed what I've played so far. Oh, yeah, it looks very good. I will say, I, uh, I forgot that it's like a six, seven-year-old game at this point now when I started it, until I saw some of the animations of the in-game models, like the good dialogue. It's a very good-looking game. Uh, yeah. Overall, yes. The models, I do think, look kind of not uh, realistic when they speak. What? I don't know. But that's just me. But anyway, um, so there's a mechanic or whatever you want to call it in that game where uh, sometimes while you're just out and about exploring the open world, there will be people who just randomly need your help on the side of the road. They're being attacked by some of those robo dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And uh, one popped up and I saved him. I was like, oh yeah, this is great. And then he followed me for no reason and ended up pulling enemies onto us. And I wasn't ready for them because I was going to sneak on them. Yeah. But he didn't. <laughs> so then they charged at him and killed him. <laughs> Good. And I could loot his body. I was like, wait, so should I just be letting the, the Robo Dinos kill these guys? Yes. So I can loot them? Yes. That's optimal. BREAK YOUR WEAPONS AGAINST ME! Mm. You got a master seal. Nice! It's next chapter we'll get access to Dancer, so we can kind of pick and choose what maps we want to play <laughs> on this one. Oh. Have we sold bouillons yet? No. Do you care about the extra gold? Or do you want the stronger allied fortresses? Seem. Like, we haven't really had a problem with our fortresses almost falling. That doesn't seem necessary at all, even a little bit. But let's go sell the Louis Hunts while we yep. have increased sale prices. And while we're thinking about it. Yeah, before I immediately... Oh, we have a training on. point. Nice. Would you look at that? Nice! Nice cock! Nice cock! God. Money bags! Must be nice. I was always hurting for gold. Because I was always using it. Imagine. Oh, that's right. Go to the blacksmith. Blacksmith. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, wait. 
check expand facility real quick. Uh, what's the one with the flashy sword looking thing? Research crest based smithing technique. Really. That was for use. We need 10 master smithing sets. I feel like we're gonna have like next to no yeah, smithing stones. We can afford seven. Damn. Uh let's just go ahead and collect what's there and please please plus pros please plus pros please uh we we might just get the master smithing sets by uh, collecting map stuff. So let's everything has its use. We can we can play through a bit more of the chapter. And then if we don't get the master smithing sets, we can always uh, fuck with shit to try to force it. Back door intel. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny cause sex. Blah, 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 huh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we get a brave lance for that one. Nice. And a brave sword for that one. Nice. But yeah, it's it's kind of just up to you how many of these missions you're wanting to do. Me. We are the knights who say me. Icky, icky, patang, zoo, wapa. What you feeling this time? Well, ooh, girl, ooh, girl, ooh, boy. Balthus gets bonus XP. Balthus does get bonus XP. Some of that nice, juicy Bex. Like neutral against it. Did you bring Shamir? Is that what I saw? Yeah. Okay, just double checking. say before you start things, if we are bringing Shamir, we probably want to swap our weapon around. May. No, but like I was saying in the chat earlier, uh, the GameStop I did my pre-order from, they, for Legends Arceus, they did, like, the midnight the night before you can come get the game. Yeah. Uh, so I don't see why they wouldn't for Scarlet and Violet. Because that was just earlier this year, and also Scarlet and Violet, I'm sure, have sold way better than uh, Legends did. I don't know. Maybe not way better, but I'm sure it's higher sales numbers still. I don't know. Why do you have one? Because it came equipped on him. But, uh... I still plan on calling ahead just to be sure, because if they are doing that, what my tentative plan is right now is next Thursday, 
we hopefully finish before midnight uh, and then I can go grab it and be able to play it some the next day before I go do gigs. Uh, and looking at how much we're knocking out so far, that's possible. We'll see. But if not, then uh, I'll probably just go get it immediately the next morning. <clears throat> oh, I'm a green-haired bish. What am I doing? Swish, swish, bish. 80. Kill him. Happy. Why do you... Oh, because she has a, a bow battalion. Kill him. I assume you know what you're going to do? Kill him. Kill him. Yeah. And I shall... Kill him. Ready? Bruh. Work. Ooh, kill him. Yes, kill them. Kill every last one of them! Kill them all. And... Dead. Kill him. I killed him. I get giving her a personal class before Enlightened One, so she has something to work with when you first get her, instead of just immediately making her her master class. Mm. But I wonder why they named it Silver. A citizen. More like shitizen. I oh, right? asked you to look for their lost item. It could be in any one of the strongholds. Wow. Just have Happy step in the one she's right next to. That'll check it. You don't have to do anything special. Just be in them. I gotta be in you. I gotta get in there. You're already, well not you, but AD's already in there, so she'll check it as soon as it starts letting her check it. I am going. You fuck. Oh, we found it. <laughs> Immediately. Optimal gameplay. <sighs> nice. Oh, you're here. Hi. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> it was all me, baby. All me, baby. That's my favorite sticker in Mario Party. Yeah. It's all me. I lost track of where I was. I was trying to get there first. Damn it. How come Sylvain didn't get one of these cut ins? I don't know. I feel like he's more important than a Bellinus general. You think? I, I think. I just got assaulted. Oh, I watched that. Actually, that was battery. Oh, yeah. Was... Legally, you were battered. Legally, I was battered. Still a crime. 
I didn't say assault isn't a crime. I just said legally you were battered. Legally. Uh. But grammatically I was assaulted. Not exactly. Yes. Not exactly. Exactly. Oh, well, let's just kill him before it falls. We'll just And maybe him. send Edelgard to go defend that. <laughs> no, we'll just kill him before it falls. I'm confident, but not stupid. They must learn who they're up against. They must learn who they're up against. They must learn who they're up against. Yep. They learned who they were up against. They have learned who they're up against. Where, 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 there. It's like, where'd you go? Say Say it's a phrase. Hell yeah, brother. Just doing my job. Am I your job? What? What's happened? Who fucking knows? Let's we can promote Byleth! Yay! Basic. That's her name. Was their name Byleth before Smash Brothers? Yes. Okay, I never knew that. Did you did you play Smash before uh, you played Three Houses? No. You increase support between the two units you pick here. Yeah, no, the default character name was Byleth. See, I did not notice that when I first played the game. Probably because of you were times, never going to use the default name. Either of the times I first played the game. And... I, uh... Yeah. That's interesting. What? Uh, Yuri and her have, like, a full support chain. Who? Yuri and Marianne have like a full ah. support chain. Yeah, they support. Yeah. Um. Master Smithing sets. Would you look at that? We got twelve of them. Hell yeah, brother. Anyway, um. Yeah, I just I I never noticed that. So it was like. If we get an ancient coin, we can get some arcane crystals. Cool. We could probably buy an ancient coin in the camp. But my point is, I fucking hate the name Byleth. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the Goetia. I hate it. <laughs> it's the name of some, like, goat king of hell or something. It's a bad name. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't. It's not a good one. It's one of those names that's androgynous only because it's super made the fuck up. Yeah. Where am I going? This black's But still, maybe it's... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, we, yeah, maybe it's, um, what's it? Uh, where you fall in love with your captor. Oh, uh, Stockholm Syndrome. Maybe it's just Stockholm Syndrome, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not offended by it anymore. I don't know. Not a thing. So now if we do Unleash Effects. Unleash Effects. We can make all of our crest weapons super fucking busted. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, the ones to prioritize are probably the actual weapons. As it will not only give them their effects, it'll increase their might and durability way the fuck up. Hell yeah. Is this it? So now these weapons are back to being above the rest of our weapons like they were when we first got them. Mm -hmm. There we go. You have to unleash the effects of the fetters of Dromi for them to get their 
the ability that uh, that Earth Shrinker, that's the thing that lets them move like they were cavalry fast. If you put it on cavalry, they'll just fucking zoom like a bullet around the battlefield. Damn. Make Thursus that much better. And then this would give it that nullfile effects thing, which, like, if we put that on Ash, he wouldn't take flying damage, but since he doesn't have a crest, he would also take damage over time. Yeah. But that's just an example. There we go. We made our shit better. Even better. -er. And we can forge them to make them even better -er -er if we wanted, but I think... Uh, this game is actually very stingy with its uh, crest weapon resources. Ah. Mm. Like, we need three mithril to upgrade, to give the Knight Captain Sword plus one, and we're down to three mithril. Hmm. Mm. God damn. Yeah, the blacksmith is like if you're playing optimally, probably the true money sink. For me, who was trying to alternate between like eight or nine different units on the battlefield, it was leveling up that was my money sink. But I do acknowledge that the optimal way to play this game is to at the start of the game pick the four people that you just want to use and just always field them. Yeah. Yeah. Because hack and fucking slash. So we can get Swordmaster, and then once we master that, we can make her an enlightened one. Master me, daddy. Let's get you out of that as soon as possible. Out of Swordmaster or out of that outfit? Out of Swordmaster. Not like a sexy way. Not in the sexy Because, like, we could go to the tent and make her wear her usual clothes. Which we can also do for Petra so she doesn't have to wear the elf shoes. Yeah, we should do that. Because I don't like the elf shoes. Also, the colors on the outfit just are not doing anything for her. Trickster? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, Trickster is an outfit that either hits or misses. And I do think it misses for Petra. Yeah. Yeah. Unforge. Unfort, fun fort. Yes. yes. She said yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I never said I wasn't. It may be new support conversation. Well, it may be stupid, but it's all so dumb. dumb. saying you want to give me some sugar? Mercedes is basically offering to be our sugar mama. Oh, hell yeah. But instead of money, sugary treats. Oh, hell yeah. An actual sugar mama. 
Cake me up, Mercedes. Oh. Jeez, where's is a mama's boy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. Just his mom is dead. Oh, a mommy's boy. I thought, you said a, said. I thought you said a modest boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this man doesn't have a modest bone in his body. No, no. Well, that's why I was confused. <laughs> Uh, how does she's was respond here? Oh, I picked one. Oh, okay. It was, uh... Can I ask you something? Do you ever wish you could return to the past? To those days with your mother? And the options were, that's a nice thought, or there's no point in living in the past. This not a person Merc, I think, would just be like, what's the fucking point? Yeah. He's not a real man. Yes. Yes, I suppose you're right. Hey, what's wrong? Was it something I said? Would you look at that? She's Wiz said something that upset Mercedes. Wow. Who would have thought? Support up. Oh. All right, let's see here. Well, he is a whoops the fuck. Phone, show me who is calling me. Oh, yeah. let me see here. Hello. Oh, I'm not at home right now, buddy. Hi. Uh, why not try calling them? No, I'm not at home right now. For sure. See ya. That was my... I answer the phone and it's my nephew. Hi, can I talk to Grammy? No. <laughs> I'm not with Grammy right now, bud. Oh, she died. What? <laughs> no, my mother is very much still alive. Yeah, I know. I know. Ooh, Super Saiyan. Oh! Research ways to go even further beyond. Basically. We researched how to go even further beyond. We don't just want to go even further beyond. No, of course not. That takes time. So we can either just play the mission now, or we can do some more side questing. Well. 
Also, what's on the map there? The thing that you didn't take? Oh. Oh, uh, that thing oh, we need yeah. an ancient coin for. Let's see what this is. The West's Last Stand. Is this where McCree and Ash die? I hope so. <laughs> Sorry. Cole and Ash. I thought it was a... Cole Cassidy. Cole Cassidy. I see, I see. He has two names now. What was his first name before? Jesse. Jesse. I think Jesse McCree is a much better cowboy name. Yes, but apparently he's named after somebody who... Yep. <laughs> but they don't have to tell us that. Yeah, that's the thing. I would not have known that. They could have just denied say. that. Unless they're on record somewhere in the past saying that. He's just Matt Mercer. What, what's the line? Kill the past if you must. <clears throat> Let the past die, kill it if you have to. Yeah. <laughs> Caspar's just like, what are we talking about? Words? Huh? <laughs> Caspar, are you okay? Don't hurt yourself. He thought. He already did. Don't hurt yourself trying to think too hard. It's hard out here. A church girl, go to church and read her Bible. Damn, Ferdinand. I am Ferdinand on tired. Man. I've been Ferdinand von Sire. I mean, yes. <laughs> A few years ago, yeah. You are Ferdinand von Fired. <laughs> All right, let's see what we need. We have to defeat Baron von Dominic. Okay, so we don't know what this is. Because we didn't finish all the side quests. Yeah. Is this where we would uh, get... Lenny? Lenny, yeah. I don't remember, but I can double check. Figure out where we're supposed to get Lenny. And... Maybe that's higher mercenaries. Sad nah. mercenaries. <laughs> That'd be weird, though, to have... Have every, like, recruit a person thing always say persuade such and such, and then all of a sudden for it to not. Although, I guess that's what they did with Byleth. Yeah, kind of, yeah. There's nothing that tips you off that you need to use Resonant Lightning for that to happen. There will be no cock and ball torture in the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Confirmed by Activision. I haven't played Modern Warfare 2. There could be cock and ball torture in it, for all I know. You know, uh, George <laughs> said that there wasn't any cock and ball torture. <laughs> when I asked, about, I asked him about you, that... When you asked about the cock and ball torture... He said that his cocks and balls have never been less tortured, I'm pretty sure is what he said. Were those his exact I'm words? pretty sure. You were sitting right next to him, but I'm pretty sure... Those oh, I don't good. remember you asking him about Modern Warfare at the wedding. I, I asked him about the cock and ball torture, and I'm pretty sure what he said was his cocks and his balls had never been less tortured. Nah, we get it during chapter 12. Cool. Then it's fine. There's nothing. Can, there's nothing else important that could possibly be here. 
Fair enough. Uh, let's assign an armored unit. And uh, let's hire some mercenaries. Yeah. And do a relentless formation. Yeah! Yeah! We could get back to <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of hoping we were going to use that one, but we don't have to. Give me intel on Rhea's back door. <laughs> the ridiculously large Pope. I need intel on the ridiculously large Pope's back door. Her ridiculously large back door. <laughs> and it is ridiculously large. It's pretty large, yeah. We love that. Oh, she a baddie. But I don't know if she uh, balances out on the hot to crazy scale. When she get crazy? No. No, she don't. <laughs> like, when she get crazy? No, 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 no. Although she do, she do get hotter when she get crazy. Yeah. Because she takes on that Saros look, and I, I prefer that. I do like the Saros look for sure. Although I gotta say, I don't hate the uh, the standard Ray look. No, it's not bad. It's a good look. It's a good look. I, will show you true I should let you in to play. I gotta get in there. I should let you in to play this game that's yours. <laughs> but you're kind of the one in the driver's seat. I am. Oh, wait, let's get a uh, Balti in here. Balti. Um, Happy's good for Balti. That sounds gross. Um, are we bringing Petra? Dor okay, I was about to ask, are we bringing Petra or Dorothea? Because we can just have them grab that chest right away instead of waiting on the key. We don't really need Ferdy. We could bring Dorothy also. Because we are one. Has she mastered Assassin yet? I do not know. If she has, we can just put her in the heck uh, is she? Trickster. And then she'll have access to magic again. Where the heck is She'd she? be further up the list with our students. We could see from the from the map, but we're already here. Now nah, she's only two star. Not quite there. Everything well, we can bring her along. Everything look good to you. Yeah. So, in the interest of saving time, again, do you want to just set people as adjutants who aren't controllable? Uh, we. Well, but in this case, we probably want to at least. Send one either like grab the chest, but then do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just in the interest of saving time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yee yee. Yee yee. Yee yee. Yee yee. Shave video game. <coughs> Pulls out a razor. <coughs> raises the switch. I'm gonna raise your switch. No. Okay. Uh, Dorothy is closer, so I'll make her go do that. Oh, they're talking about the wall. Okay. <laughs> and then... What do you... Who, who do you want to get in whose backpack? Uh... But? Uh... Um... You can put AD and Hubert. Did I bring Hubert? I thought you I did bring Hubert. Yeah, I put AD and Hubert. Yeah. And uh, does Petra have a support with Lawrence? Uh, I don't believe so. Mm. I mean, they can get a C support, but it won't have a conversation, and that'll be all. Yeah, that's sad. Or do they have some? They might have a support chain. I honestly cannot remember. Can and I can't check mid-battle. You can just put her in there. Because we're, we're... 
I think they do. We're, and I was surprised by that. We're maxed with her, so we might as yeah. well put her with somebody else. But we're also maxed with Happy and Dorothea, so put put Happy in uh who's down there at the Balti. Uh yeah, put Happy in Balti and we'll just have Dorothea. We'll snag Dorothea when she's open. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yee yee Okay, so I'm assuming you want Balti to commit murder. And Ubert to do the same thing. Earbert. Yeah. And Lawrence to do the same thing. Erens. Yeah. Okay. So I'm assuming you're gonna have cheese was fuck these dudes. Yes. Fuck them. They ran into my knife. <laughs> they ran into my knife ten times. Fair enough. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Work. She's the strongholds. Dorothea she's, opens the chest. She's the whiz. If I could open her chest. No. Oh my god. What? Oh. Not in a murder kind of way. Alright, Jeffrey Dahmer. Not in a murder kind of way, I said. I said... I can't love her if she's dead. Kind of. Yes. What? <laughs> oh, so that reminds me. Uh, the other day, I was bored, so I was looking up uh, just dumb quizzes on the internet. Yeah. And naturally, like things I'm interested in became topics of such quizzes. Like I was like, uh, "What, uh, what kind of Pokemon type are you? Who's your persona?" <laughs> and uh, who's your Pokemon? And Fire Emblem quizzes uh, ended up being part of what I perused. Happy's not happy. Balti's taking a minute. I'm gonna go make that not take a minute. Oh yeah. Uh, and I saw one that I had taken before. Uh, when I just searched Fire Emblem quizzes, the link was like green or whatever, which I think means you've clicked it before, or it was whatever the color change was. Uh, but the uh, I saw it was. Who's your Fire Emblem Three Houses girlfriend? But it said it was updated. I was like, oh shit, they got a patch? <laughs> I gotta check that out. <laughs> what? And, uh... I remember it was one I had taken before, just because... Why the fuck not? And I was very interested to see that, uh, despite my uh, my my stances on the matter and and my preferred characters, that because uh, I remember when I took it before, Happy was not in that quiz. Yeah. And now she was. I was like, oh, I bet I know how this is gonna go down. But it wasn't Happy. The answer remained unchanged, and if anything, actually, because uh, it was uh, whatever that one website is, quote V, quote Tev, however you're supposed to pronounce it, mm. you know the one? Uh, I think so. However you're supposed to pronounce it. But uh, I remember on if you take, uh, oh, this dude, if you take a quiz on that website, you can see like all the different results and how many points you got for each one. Yeah. And if anything, 
the points suggested that uh, she had even more of a lead this time than she did the last time I took it. <laughs> but I got Dorothea again. Nice. And it's like, you know, I can't complain about that one. She's a quick study. She's a quick study. You fucked, Gustav. No, Get. I'm not even gonna use your true name. Get You're Gilbert. Fucked, Gilbert. You don't. You haven't deserved the honor of me using your true name. Oh, he didn't get caught up in this. No, he was in it. He just didn't die. Well, I I did another thing. <laughs> oh, you did another thing? Yes. Oh, sorry. I might have knocked him out of it. I'm not sure. So much defense. Goodbye. <laughs> I hate you. Okay. Temporarily, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause real quick. Let's see here. Faulty. Booby, you're already doing well. Lawrence, I see what you can do. Ready? Brah! Scooby Dooby Doo. Scooby Dooby Doo. What? It's green and not A little bit. Let's kill him. Who kill him? Who kill them? You didn't want the bloodshed, just don't fight. <laughs> Sounds easy. Doesn't it though? I don't shed blood literally every day of my life. But when I do. <laughs> ah. Ballastai. I'm only kind of paying attention to the dialogue. I've never paid attention to dialogue a day in my life. That's not true. I was about either. to say, that sounds like an absolute fucking lie. You think that's an absolute fucking lie? Yeah. Okay. I think all you do is pay attention to dialogue. Yeah. But when it's too hard for me to understand while I'm busy doing stuff, I start to get a little confused. See, I get that to an extent. Like, something like this, and not even just, like, this game, but this game in the context of, like, sitting here on the couch next to you shooting the shit while we're playing. Yeah. Uh, I only catch, like, every other word of the dialogue, maybe. When I played this on my own, uh, it, it was more difficult than, like, something like regular Fire Emblem, <laughs> where the dialogue is just, like, breaking up the monotony of the chapter. I think this game does a better job of it than Vince, Persona 5 yeah. Strikers did. Because Persona 5 Strikers has, like, A, in this game the dialogue is, like, right there. That, I think part of that is because split screen. Well, yeah, but it would probably be at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, it, it, would, it would be at the bottom. Defeat the messengers before they reach their destination. Oh, we gotta send people to go fuck with that. In, in Persona 5 Strikers, the dialogue... Oh, I can get the one on the right. I'm the, on a horse, I'm fast. The dialogue that happens uh, mid-fight is, like, up in the top right corner. Yeah, I recall. And, I still have revisited that game to finish it. And there's a, there's just a, a shit ton of stuff going on, and the music's guy. really loud. <laughs> it's just... Should we have Hubert and Cheese Whiz knock out those two forts uh, to take out the ballista? Can you get that guy? Yeah, I'm on a horse. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Yes, but, uh... I guess you are. I'm the king of games. You're the king of games. 
Uh, yeah, I'll go take out this ballista dude, and I'll, I guess I'll send Hubert to do this one. Nice! Anything else? Anything else? I think that's probably fine. Do we need to worry about this? Um, only if you think we do. I don't know. Is it important? Uh, if that base falls, I think we get a game over. Oh. Huh. If you're worried about it, I can go deal with that after I kill this other one. Because I will kill him. I mean, probably. Disadvantages don't mean a whole Outnumbered, outgunned, out of our minds on a suicide mission. We go forward like a breath exhaled from the earth. With vigor in our hearts and one goal in sight. We will kill him. That was the best part of that game. Not that mission. That monologue. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> Fucking murked him. Alright, that's one ballista to do. Oh, there's way more people down here now. No way. No, like more than just the one enemy. There's other enemies. I think I got it, because I got my warrior special. Okay. Um, I just got down there and I was only expecting there to be one sword master and there was more than one sword master. We're kind of rolling these guys. Uninstall. <laughs> I think I killed them all. Like, when I played this game on my own, I did catch all the dialogue, but there were sometimes specific pieces of dialogue that I, uh, I was like, oh, there's dialogue, let me pay attention real quick. Because mm -hmm. I was, like, doing shit. Yeah. But, specifically, in the context of doing this next to you on the couch, it's, I feel like it's much harder. Oh, yeah. And, like, sure, it's dialogue. I'd rather see it, but honestly, like, it only kind of halfway matters, the mid-mission dialogue. Now, if they didn't, like, have it show up on the screen, oh, go here and do this. It might be. Uh, I think you're gonna die. Oh. <laughs> Be a better dad. Be better! Oh wait, you can't. You're dead. Oh no. 
Oh no. No, I don't want to kill her. I love her. We have to, because she's not in this route, I She's guess. enraged. I love that fucking hammer, though. <laughs> That hammer is very cool. Oh no. I don't want to kill Annette. She's my favorite blue lion. I'm glad we didn't bring Mercedes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, child. Oh. The hammer's not glowing anymore. Because she's dead. <sighs> oh, wait, it just says defeated in there. It doesn't say Annette died. We're not done. It didn't say Annette died. The, the, this game is pretty good about saying character died when they actually fucking die. We need to defeat Dominique. We need to defeat Mystique. Oh. Do you care about getting that done? If so, I can go do that while you focus on fighting him. Sure. If you don't kill him too quickly. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure she is dead. Otherwise, she would have retreated. One, one more. Got it. I'm here. I thought that that's it. I thought that she said for a second this will deal a crushing blow to England. She did say the kingdom. I know. That could be England. I heard England. <laughs> I don't think you will. I'm not gonna forgive your weakness. I'll I'll forgive Annette, but I won't forgive you or Gilbert. Yeah, I don't like either of you they guys. Him for being the descendant of a hero. Gilbert's legitimately and bad and you I don't know who you are. <laughs> He's in houses. You don't have a face. He doesn't dare either. Yeah. You face. Heard the name, can't place the face. Yeah. <laughs> I do, like, I, so, because of the whole Gilbert situation, it makes sense why Annette wouldn't defect from the kingdom, I get it, and to that same end, it halfway makes sense why you only get her paralogue in Azure Moon and Houses. Mm. Like, if you recruit her in any other route, you won't get her paralog, you won't get Crusher. But, why can't she go ask her uncle for the relic without her father? Because yeah. she's a church girl. 
and reads her Bible. You thinking? What? <laughs> I knew you'd understand, even if I can't point to the reason why I felt that way. But I'm glad to hear you say it. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> So why didn't we take Lewin off of Ing Ingrid's corpse? Cause fuck Ingrid. All the more reason to take her weapon from her, yeah? No. I don't even want to think about her. <laughs> I mean... I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say my only real complaint about her is that she's racist. <laughs> well, that's kind of that's, a big complaint. That's a pretty sizable <laughs> complaint, my guy. <laughs> nah, but uh, I don't know. It's just my 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 biggest com listen. Like I I didn't pay enough attention. No, my to her. biggest complaint about Ingrid is that she's boring. Yeah, my, like I didn't I didn't pay enough. Like attention. she's a racist and boring. Like come on. I didn't pay enough attention to her when I initially played the game to, like, pick up on the fact right. that she was racist. I just realized that she was incredibly dull. Right. <laughs> like, And now I, I know she's racist, too. <laughs> she has, like, m a couple moments, but that's all they are, moments. It's not even, like... A whole scene that she's in, it's like a line that she says in a scene that she's in. Yeah. And like, I will give her, as a unit, she's pretty fucking good. Yeah. Out of her house. Yeah. In her house, she kind of struggles. But out of her house, like, if you recruit her into other routes, she's pretty fucking good. Yeah. But... You haven't played Path of Radiance, but there's a character in that game, Shinon. And he's also a racist. But he's an interesting racist. Yeah. And he kind of gets better. Mm. Like, Ingrid kind of, sort of, almost feels like she gets better, but really only with Dadu, not with Dusker as a whole. Mm. That it's called Dusker is kind of a yikes. How come? I don't know. Think about it. Dusk? Yeah. Dark. So? There are slurs that use that, but. I don't want to say them. <laughs> there are slurs that use the word dusk? Yeah. They're not, like, per se slurs, but they are derogatory. That's what a slur is. Oh, well, yes, but like... I, I cannot even begin to think of what these slurs are, and I know a lot of slurs. <laughs> That's something you say. They're old ones, for sure. They're not really used anymore. Okay, Google. <laughs> Slur. What are some slurs that use the word dusk? There's really just one that I can think of. My phone didn't hear me. <laughs> or it chose not to hear me. That's in character for Shez. He's supposed to be bad with maps. Yeah, me too. Nice. 
This can't be a coincidence. So those who slither in the dark. Honestly, I think up until like about the time Three Hopes came out, I somehow didn't I thought Bridget was like this way of Fodlin. Mm. And I think it's actually supposed to be that way is what it is. I could be wrong. The rising darkness. Oh, sorry, Gerald. Yeah, he says that. He took his line. Yeah. List of tactics. <laughs> Let me donate to that. Yeah, donate to that Wikipedia page. Let's see. This one? Because that's not Dusk. No, not that. It's, it's basically that, but... I have seen in a thing... People... It's like in a period piece, people referring to folks as that, which is... Huh. I think you might be one of the only people who knows that. So, we'll walk into their trap and smash it. Yeah. suggest ignoring the revolt entirely. I mean, I can see where he's coming from, but... <laughs> Get any more responses about calling Bernadette a nothing, a nothing no. burger? Damn. I wanted somebody to be upset with you for that. I'm sure people were. They just didn't voice it. That's fair. You know, you don't always have to say when you're upset about something. Let that be a lesson. Dad. Honestly. Like... <laughs> does, does everybody everywhere have to express everything they think about everything that happens like could any one just any one person just shut the fuck up for a second i've got an answer for you i know the answer is no the answer is no <laughs> but like maybe we just don't need to do that When we personally don't like things, we need to voice that they are bad and bad for the fan base. And also... Do you think this might work? Huh. Neat. I like that. We need to work with what we have. Also, I like them. I do like them.
I'm not too proud to admit that I am a basic bitch, and when Houses first came out, Dorothea was a character I was very much interested in. What? That's I forget that Edelgard and Balthus have a support. That's wild. It's with Balthus. I know. We're, I just want... It's I'll, with Balthus. I want to finish our talks. It's with Balthus. I know. Fuck off. She is so small compared to him. Well, she is short. Yeah. And he is large. Yeah. He is large. The Lord. <laughs> I haven't even said that this is a position, let alone that you've gotten it. She did say it was a position. Oh, okay. oh this is great. You want to turn up for this. <laughs> you want to turn up the volume for this. <laughs> Why is his Hubert impression so fucking good? <laughs> Never see it coming. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of his job. Gets rejected for one job. Decides he doesn't need a job. At all. Period. End of story. Oh, by the by, if I haven't mentioned, Basic, uh, if you look at her support list, um, she can get an A support with everyone, just like Shez, but she only has conversations with She's Wiz and Gerald. No! Yep. It's interesting, and I sort of get why. Like, part of the reason is, you know, she has all her supports and houses, but she doesn't do any fucking talking there. Talk! I want to hear talk to people! She doesn't have much to say. <laughs> Like, I get it, but I also don't like it. I'm angry and mad and pissed. Are you upset? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> 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 
Horse. Horse Goodly. That's just Jesus a guarantee. Perfect. I'm sure it's not. Because I had them work together and I did not get perfects like that. Okay. I think you just got really good luck with the chores. Evidently. Okay, I'm learning to talk with basic. They're basic and there we go. There we go. There we go. Nope. At the bottom. Of it. Yeah. There we go. This is what I want. Start at the top, and now we're here. It might just be dot dot dots the whole time from her. I'm down by the banks of the hanky panky where the bullfogs jump from bank to bank. You see me? I pop up, I pop up, ow! Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, that fight did not go on forever. I'm surprised we S-ranked it, because I thought we kind of steamrolled them too quickly. That's not the fucking point, you bitch. <laughs> I don't do those either. My heart doesn't even beat. We have friends now. I don't even know how old I am. I mean, you can piece it together. Yeah. Since you have Citri's date of death. And the year when Three Houses starts. Basic is 21. But in this timeline, do we, does she know? She never saw the, the tombstone, so I guess she doesn't know. More like the womb stone, am I right? Yeah. Look, Gerald, she's showing an emotion. <laughs> she's sad. You're just like her. Sad. <laughs> No hesitation. Here is something to believe in. Dodge! Damn. And I'm pretty good. Something that works differently than it does in houses. 
Because if it worked how it works in houses, there's absolutely zero way he should notice. Yeah. And if you remember from the cutscene where they were fighting and she used her power, I... And if you kind of... You didn't see, but her personal ability in battle, uh, unlike She's Wiz, where he teleports around, she can stop time and just wallop on enemies for a while, and then when time plays again, it'll, the damage catches up. Yeah. So I think what it's supposed to be... She's hit from Dragon Ball Super. Uh, sure, I guess. I don't know who the fuck that is. He does that. He's voiced by Matt Mercer. Oh, so he's awesome. He's pretty cool, he's pretty cool yeah. But from what I can tell, I think what she's doing is instead of just turning back the hands of time like she does in houses, here she's just pulling a tracer and affecting specifically her own time. Mm. So that's why it kind of might look like teleportation or whatever. Insane. Lie! Press X to Dow. <laughs> Objection! Objection! What are you doing? What am I doing? What the fuck are you doing? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. What are you doing? fucking doing? Oh, I'm fucking doing. The only people who like fish are happy in your That's so weird. <laughs> like, That's... like what you like, I guess. But why have dishes that, like, only one or two people like, depending on what route you're playing? Three, I guess, if you're playing houses and you recruit Anna. She likes fish. I think she likes the fish dishes. I don't remember. I've only used her once. Mm -hmm. And she was aggressively average in that playthrough. Yeah. But it doesn't help that I probably... I gimped her. I, I gimped everyone I used that playthrough. It was my church playthrough, so I used all the staff and faculty... Those are the same word. Shut up. Uh, and I, I gave them unorthodox classes. Like, I, I tried to make them like, oh, here's something you excel in, but also something you're ass at. In a way. So, like, Hanneman. Lasagna! Yeah. Hanneman has a boon in bows, but bad strength. So I made him a sniper. Manuela, sure, she's got boons and swords and magic. You would think the ideal class for someone like that, then, would be dancer, but she can't become a dancer, so I made her a trickster. Interesting. Which, honestly, probably isn't bad of her. The weird class for her would probably be to make her something like an assassin. So that way she doesn't get access to spells. Uh, Flane has a boon in reason, so I made her a mortal savant and mostly use swords. Sedith, I think, has a boon in riding, but not great magic, so I also trained him in faith and made him a holy knight. Uh, Shamir uh, has physic in her, in her spell list. So I made her a Gremory. Like, Physic is good, but her magic is not. It was also, like, the best spell in her whole spell list. Uh, Anna, she had a boon in writing. But I also trained her in axes and heavy armor and went ahead and made her a great knight. But she probably wants to be a trickster. She wanted to. Mm. 
because the game devs said we have four more chapters left. Technically five more. Is it 17 chapters? It's 16, but we're 16. on 12. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh, that's right. We can mark whistle someone still. Mm -hmm. Do you know who you want to give that to yet? I think I wanted to give it to 80, but I can't yet. Do we have an a rank support with her? We do, but we can't pop it. I don't think we need to pop it. I, thought I could we, be wrong. I thought we did have to pop it. Let's go try. No, no, on. you're right. We do have to pop it, because technically we're still at B support with her, but we have A rank points is what it is. That's You're right. You're right. Hi. Hi. Okay. I mean, I think you and I both know someone's pulling the strings. What? That's crazy. But, let's see. Edelgard. Lady Edelgard. Lady Edelgard. Yes, you are right. We cannot give her the Merc Whistle. Damned it! But also, maybe happens. But also, maybe face. Who knows? Hey, it's up to you. I know. I mean, if you want my two cents, uh, just from a pure gameplay perspective, the optimal choice is to give it to Lawrence, because with the Merc Whistle, if you don't remember, you get a uh, uh, accessory that, if you equip, lets you use their personal ability. So you could get Lawrence's Rondo of Roses and just say no to damage all the time. Yeah. But, as far as the other three go, uh, if you gave it to Petra, hers is, if I remember correctly, I think her dodge does damage or something. Uh, Edelgard, hers just infuses your attacks with fire. It would be interesting. Would it give you the, like, Hubert's Dark Spike thing? Yeah, that's his personal ability. Yeah. Although, well, let me see here, because I forget. Dark Conjuration. Gain a low chance to impale an attacked enemy with a magic spike. Okay, you don't have to attack them with magic, just you hit people and they will get magic spikes in them and you can blow them up with it. So you could get that from Hubert. So that's what you should think about if you're trying to do this gameplay-wise. If you just want to give it to your favorite unit, by all means, do that. It is completely up to you. Oops. Okay, what to do whilst waiting for the man to piss? I know I shall go to the training grounds. And I'll just no-brain the training. We are trained. Well, let me check classes first. You're good, you're good. Eh. Might as well. Just in case we ever decide we want to use you again. That is an admirable attitude. And again, we might as well, just in case we ever decide we want to use you again.
want the very same for here. I'm just doing shit that I can do with it besides talking to people while you gone. Oh, we're still working on assassin. Okay, okay. Eh. I guess it's all the same how you get there, but you'll have better spells. Gucci. This will be good. <clears throat> and that's all I'm going to say about that. Something about tackling you. I couldn't think of a joke. You think you're going to use Constance anymore? Gotcha. Uh, you leveled her up. Yeah. Might as well. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. It's all coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to see it. You absolutely love to see it. She mastered Swordmaster. We can give her Enlightened One. No, she or no, she didn't master it. She got one star. But Dorothea mastered Assassin, so we can give her Trickster. I mean, we don't have to give her Trickster. We could give her Grimory so she can get some spells. Because we, we, we just need her to have an access to Master Level Sword Classes. You're unhappy. Not oh, Dorothea. that's why I'm confused. That's why. It's up to you. We can do Trickster. But we could also do Grimory so she has more spells at her disposal. Also, we get to see the dress. Also, the dress. And on oh. Dorothea. Oh. It's very good. It is a good dress. I think I like her base dress a little more, though. Yeah, that's fair. Also, before you forget, go to the fucking tent. What tent? Our tent. Our tent? Oh, yeah. Meteor! Kamehameha! That will be Meteor. <laughs> Meteoga! Ew. I can't wait to see how you do. Left. Right. Left. There you go. Battle appearance is what you want. Ugh. Nice. 
ナイスナイスホットホットスーパーホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホットホ What are the <laughs> who slither in the dark? <laughs> I am so tired, yeah. utterly exhausted. <laughs> Same, big Sam. <laughs> you haven't been on the battlefield, my guy. <laughs> Battle, <laughs> and I didn't even enjoy it. <laughs> Then I wouldn't get to complain as much. Okay, well, I am so tired. He wants to do nothing. But I think he secretly realizes, and so, so super secretly, that he doesn't tell any fucking buddy about it. He realizes that he should be helping out. Because he's like one of the most competent people on the continent for some reason. The most competent continent. Sorry, the least competent continent. I mean, I sense it too. Actually. Really? You're stupid. Boop boop. Probably. I mean, it's kind of a, a thing when you really stop and think about it. For whatever reason. Sure, there's a bunch of shit going on in the background, and we joked about this before. You guys have been following us around? Yes, Lord Ellie would. <laughs> but, like. And there are some bad units in Fire Emblem games. But they're still the playable units. Yeah. Who, for some reason, are competent enough to, 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 kill so many men. Yeah. We can't merc whistle him yet. He, we don't have an A support. Yeah. But that's like, it. It's not like a actually a romantic thing in this game. Right? No, it's not a romantic thing. But I will say, whoever you get your give your Merc Whistle to, you do get a special letter from them at the end of the game after the war has ended. I'll get a special letter from here. <laughs> I, I kind of do... I kind of feel like his Dark Spike ability thing would be pretty cool on G-Swiss, honestly. I mean, you don't have to just equip it on G-Swiss. You can equip it on whoever. Oh, damn. Oh, and personally... Damn. Cheese Wiz's ability is like one of the only ones that I feel like uh, for like Lawrence's Rondo of Roses because I gave my Merc Whistle to Lawrence. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really want to equip equip his his uh, Rose Brooch on Cheese Wiz just because I was like, I mean, sure that's a great ability, but I also like just being able to zip around the fucking battlefield. Mm. I don't know how often do we actually end up using. Mm. You have not used it much. I used it a lot when I played the game. Yeah. The actual shadow slide teleporting thing, I haven't done we haven't done that much, and I didn't do that much either. But I don't know if that's tied to his personal. Mm -hmm. Or if that's something he can just do at all times, like Divine Pulse. You knocked a bitch up! What? <laughs> what? 
Oh, he mad. I make him mad. <laughs> <laughs> I hope George wasn't upset when I said that the South African baboon railroad worker was. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt he was. I thought that was funny. I I thought it was funny too. <laughs> and they pay him in beer and snacks, and his name is George. <laughs> Honestly, like here's the thing about a about a gig like that. Sure, that's all he gets paid in, but he also doesn't have any financial burdens. Yeah, he's a fucking baboon. <laughs> what else does he need? Cuz like sure that's all they're paying him, but I'm sure like if he got sick, they also pay for that and shit like that. Yeah. So like if you had a gig where you got paid in basically just room and board, but they also took care, like, you also got an insurance plan with that. They took care of your bills and shit like that. And they feed you. That's why I said room and board. That doesn't necessarily mean you're getting fed. That just means you have a roof over your head. Is that not just the room part? What's the, What does the board mean? Is that not what the board part of room and board means? I don't think so. Hold on. Let's actually look this up. I will admit, I am just assuming because room to me implies the living space. I have... I, I'm genuinely curious now. <laughs> I don't want my dad yelling at me. He gets scary when he's angry. Did you just want to talk to him, or you want to go on a date, or give him a present? I just want to talk to him. I guess, I guess it does mean lodging and food. Yeah. Okay. But if you got a gig like that, like, sure, I would. it would be nicer to be able to have a little spending money here and there, but it sounds like with how fucking flexible that job is, you can find some side gigs to actually get spending money. Yeah. And that also, would be perfect. And also, what do you need spending money for? You're a fucking baboon. <laughs> I'm saying for like a person. No, yeah. That's not good. That'd be a pretty, pretty good job. It'd be a pretty cushy gig, honestly. But imagine being a baboon. I don't have to. Sadly, I don't have to. <laughs> I'm a fucking baboon. Is an actual baboon. <laughs> oh man. Here's a thought. Here's a thought. <clears throat> hey, I know who that is. I know who that is. I know her. Eric hates her! Bye! Oh god, he's back! <laughs> really don't like Manuela. Wait, is it two? No, that's. It's I was like, two what? Lawrence's. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It's new Lawrence and old Lawrence. <laughs> Can I give my two cents to say you should listen to your son? Bitch. True. 
Why do you rich fucking white people insist on seeing every socioeconomic problem through the myopic lens of your own self-actualization? <laughs> this isn't about you! Well. So either get with it, or get out of the fucking way! For a second I thought that was a corpse on the ground. Nah, he's just doing push-ups. Although, like, he probably does infinite push-ups, so, like, eventually it will be. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna spot you, man. Damn! You're really going at it. Hey, man, are you okay? <laughs> My must Leaves the console on uh, to go run an errand. Comes back three hours later. Man, that took longer than I thought. I hope my switch isn't too hot. Oh, wait, you're still going? <laughs> you're still going? Damn. Respond undaunted. <laughs> Anything you can do, I can do better. that one. <laughs> oh, I love that man. <laughs> I thought he was doing a dance move for a second. Keep going, guy. You got this. Get those I mean, <laughs> For a dude as jacked as he is, from what we've seen, he hasn't been going too long. Get I those arms say. swole. Get him gone. Hold on, turn around. Okay. <laughs> oh, you don't give a shit what she has to say. Oh, I can't hit it. Hold on, now you can. There we go. Oh, we got the support points. Nice. <laughs> this is just how we play the game now. This is the most important character in all of ah. the video game. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Okay. Let's stop doing that. <laughs> Why? Because we do need to get a little ways. That's through true. This that's game. true. This is actually what I meant when I said no fucking around. <laughs> Read a book or something. I don't fucking know me. <laughs> Commiserate. Commiserating. Say so. How would I go? Realize. Oh my god, hello. What? She was in me. <laughs> Didn't realize you were into that, Bernie. What are you done with her? Could we give her the Merc Whistle? I guess that's fair. Use your fucking brain. I can't. I'm in this tree. No thoughts. <laughs> Head empty. No thoughts. Only tree. I remember uh, when three when hopes first came out. I saw on the the fireman subreddit like the the post was like, "Can't believe the fate of Fodlin is in these two's hands." And it was just like a little chibi drawing of Shez and Byleth, both of which just like staring off into space, like the anime lines like uh, along their, their forehead or whatever. And, uh, and they had thought bubbles coming up, and Byleth came up like, head empty, no thoughts. And Shez's came up, head emptier, no thoughts, sir. <laughs> yeah. Let 
me see if I can find it. <laughs> the way you're casually swaying back and forth makes me think you're not that worried. Look at that smile. Bro, who got you smiling like that? Something, something, something. I don't know all the words, so I will make shit up. Look at your shoes. <laughs> um. Actually. Act dependable nod. It's gotta be one of those two. Look at that smile. She's so glad we want to be friends with her. Protect that smile. I do like Bernie. Ask about their worries. They are multiple. <laughs> there is a multitude. Yep. Now this came out in January, so I'm probably gonna have to wade through so much art of them kissing. Scold sympathize. <laughs> oh, this isn't bad. <laughs> I'm not paid enough for really. this. Which do you think? Do you want my my honest opinion because I don't want it to be my fault if we're wrong. What's your honest opinion? Sympathize sounds the most right. That's what I was thinking too. But I don't know for sure. I also don't know for sure. I'm gonna do it anyway. Hey, we were right. Look at that smile. <laughs> This is good. Be impressed. Feel like be impressed. So do I. Praise her. Damn it! Fuck! We almost had a <laughs> She doesn't want to go out again. Hates us. I hate that she hates us. Dies. I'm gonna die. Says they're gonna die. Hi, Coco. Dies. Coco, get inside. <laughs> you tell me you don't like her like that? At this point, I feel that I'm made to suffer. <laughs> It just, it just seems like it just seems like she needs help. What do you think? So much. What if I try searching this? Like I own. Here it is. Head emptier. Head empty and head even emptier. Dies. 
didn't realize things could even go that bad. I'm glad we managed to get in front of the meanest looking guy in my company. But that didn't last long before the nerves got to you. Quickest I've ever seen someone run, let me tell you. She fast as fuck, boy. When I accidentally stepped on that horse's tail, sweat started going wild and totally trashed the place. It'll probably take weeks for them to clean that up. Oh, you really did it this time, Barney. <clears throat> My shinies? I wish I had more of those. An increment. Well, we can start by having you hide nearby while I talk to someone you're afraid of. <laughs> How else? Then think for a fucking second. <laughs> 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 it doesn't matter if they're serious or boring or the most fascinating person in the world. All I care about is that they don't scare me. That's gonna be tough to manage on its own. We could have you go solo Rhea in her immaculate one form, then nothing else should be scary. Let me solo her. Let me swallow her. Let you what her? Swallow. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Remember, remember after the last Jedi came out and there were all those Ben Swallow memes? No. Oh. Sounds like getting you used to the okay. is the way to go after all. Never mind then. <laughs> I hardly remembered kill the past if you have to. Or whatever it is. <laughs> Now we can give her the Merc Whistle if you want. Uh, you could do it for gameplay reasons, or you could do it for story reasons. What's up, Iggy Schmoles? Iggy Schmoles? This one all by yourself, Hans. <laughs> what made you think of that? I don't know. <laughs> Were you frying chicken in there? Nah, but for real, you piss loud as fuck. I'm into that. I think it was the you. <laughs> I think it was used to the way you said. What do you mean? <laughs> Like five minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> you pissing all by yourself, handsome? <laughs> you pissing all by yourself in that handsome. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> so, <laughs> what color socks you wear? <laughs> uh, white. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Just like something else. Yikes. I remember when I was still with Lydia, I jokingly texted that to her one night. <laughs> and she was like, I'm not wearing socks. I was like, who boy? <laughs> And then I quickly realized, oh wait, she's gonna think I'm into feed. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I was just being stupid and dumb. 
Gatekeeper! That's not Gatekeeper. And that, secretly, is how the relationship ends. It was a slow burn if that's what caused it. <laughs> Every night since then, she kept thinking, damn. <laughs> if that's what caused it, it was a slow burn. Just it was constantly eating away. <laughs> by the by, the game either just got or is due for an update soon. It really just clearing small bugs, stuff like that. But people saw that and they're like, ooh, I wonder if they're like... Shadow, oh, you like can see his points. eyes. Yeah, I think you can adjust the camera and houses enough to do that. Oh, <laughs> here, hold on. Hold, stop, stop. Wait, wait, eh, wait, eh, wait, 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 There's something like comparing Gatekeeper to Alm. <laughs> I think because they're voiced by the same man. Oh, okay. Oh, Hammond run ahead. Oh, he died. <laughs> He's not playable. What if Hanneman just, what if they like boldly just decided, you know what, Hanneman, not playable, dies off screen. <laughs> I mean, so here's the thing, right? You remember a chapter we recruit Byleth? Yeah. Let's give it a go. And how mm. if we don't recruit Byleth, what happens is... We kill Geralt, and that's what makes it so that it's rivalry forever. And also, Randolph dies if we kill Geralt. Mm -hmm. Well, uh. it's the same thing in uh, Golden Wildfire, except Judith dies. No. And I'm assuming in, uh, what's it, Azure Gleam, it can't be Rod Reed because he's playable. And he died in, in Houses. So maybe... I don't know, maybe Gilbert. But that feels like a that feels like a big thing to make make it. But I feel like it would hold more weight for it to be a character like uh Hanneman. Cause most people, not all, but most people I'm guessing, who are playing this game played houses. And they no Hanneman already. They might have some attachment there. That would make that a more uh, weighty scene for it to be Hanneman instead of fucking Randolph. Golden Deer don't really have a character like that except Judith to fill that spot. But still, I feel like Judith is a, is weightier than Randolph, because Judith felt important before that scene happens. She felt important in Houses. Randolph did not feel important in that game or this game. Are we gonna go on a date with the big titty goth girl? Why not? If only I could do that in real life. I know, right? Anything. She's <laughs> up for anything she says. <laughs> she says she's up for 
anything. I'm down cataclysmic. Just look at her. I can't even find her a cool mushroom. That is correct. Look at this cool mushroom I found. She's great. Really? Damn it. You're pretty stoic. You're pretty stoic. I like that. <laughs> Struggle to answer. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh. First you see the girl. What'd you do? <laughs> Hold up. Wait. Oh, you can't go back. I hit left. I know. I said you can't go back. Hold up. Look at that smile. Look at that little smile. Look at that. Look at it! Look at it! Okay. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! We already discussed we have to stop fucking around and we keep doing it. What? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? She gets up to go look at something. Are you pissing by yourself all over there, beautiful? You pissing all by yourself, beautiful? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! I like you! I thought this was gonna suck, but it didn't suck all that much. I like that. I like your face. when we're like this. We're always like this. God damn it. Cutscene. Your mom! Oh, I've been around camp since then. I didn't remember what was happening. <laughs> the slithery people. <laughs> Yo, Hubert. The, the Burt. <laughs> Yo, Hubert. Hey, hey, the Burt. I believe it was the Slithery people. <laughs> I can name a couple other things that are pretty slithery around here. God damn it. <laughs> you fucking baboon. <laughs> you fucking baboon. <laughs> I just always think. Just, Im just imagine Hubert, a catchy. Yeah. Just, <laughs> you fucking baboon. You absolute baboon. <laughs> oh, God. You know, has anyone ever told you? You act like a fucking baboon. <laughs> I hate you. Because <laughs> you're a fucking baboon. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Just always think about that line from Planet of the Apes where he's like, You cut off his brain, you bloody baboon! What? Even though there's no baboons. <laughs> Which Planet of the Apes is this? The original. Oh, I, 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 told you, I don't fucking remember. Yeah. But, like, in the original, there are. I'm pretty sure there's only three types of apes. There are chimpanzees, orangutans, and gorillas. None of them are baboons. <laughs> Did you see its ass? Are you sure it wasn't a baboon? Yes. None of them are baboons. 
But did you see its ass? I'm gonna say no, but... It could have been big and red. Baboons have a very distinct face as well. And a very distinct <laughs> ass. Yes, but... <laughs> I'm just saying. Yes, I'm but... just saying. The ass is on those things. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. For Happy sure. twice. They make me happy. That's certainly. They call her. Uh, they call her happy. Cause that's her name. Cause that's her name. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! May I see the remote for a minute? Yes, I'm gonna go get my phone charged. Uh, Let's complete all side missions in this area. Okay, so this this is the chapter where we can get the dancer class. Okay. And I do see, based on the way the map is laid out, we do have to complete most, if not all, of the side missions. Also, if we s this chapter, we get the Arrow of Indra. Which is pretty neat. It's the Bolt Lance. Because that's her name. Because that's her name. They call her Sa. They call her happy. <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh, you want to do them now? Okay. Sure. You fucking baboon. I'm a fucking baboon. You're stupid. Oh, you mean the slithery people? <laughs> hey, don't dunk on happy like that. Hold on, hold on, wait, let me see, let me see, let me see. Hold on. Okay. I'm satisfied. What? I just wanted to hear that again. Hey, Liz. I just love her fucking nicknames. Yeah, it's good. Whose fate has been bent to their nefarious will. Her hair isn't white. The rumors about Happy are true. Her powers came from their experiments. Yep. Yep. What? You didn't believe it? Yep. Yep. What? You thought I was a fucking liar? You cunt. Yep. You fucking baboon. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I do recognize her voice from somewhere. I don't. There's very few voice actors I consistently recognize. I feel like... I, I might be wrong, but I feel like she might be Virgo from Fairy Tale. I didn't get that far. That's fair. Was that something we had an option about? Did we pick stupid? You might have gotten that far. Virgo's fairly early. She's one of I, she's one of Lucy's Pokemon. Oh, is she the the maid thing? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, it's been ages since I've watched that show, and I didn't watch much of it. But uh, no, the only the only voice actors that I really consistently recognize that I can think of off the top of my head are Sung Won Cho, uh, Matt Mercer, sometimes Donnie Darko, 
Uh, that might be it. <laughs> and I say consistently for Donnie, but I've only heard him in this in Persona. <laughs> Yep. Oh, we're gonna say that my power is like Happy's, even though it's fucking not. It's fucking not even a little bit. You seem to compare my power to everyone else's. Every time anybody has power. It's like yours. I mean, it's my job to protect you anyway. Well, my and Hubert's job. Okay, she's fairly new on the scene, so she's probably Happy's vo voice actor. Yes. Oh, she's Chiaki Nanami. Then. Don't know who that is. She's from Dang and Rambo. Dang it, Grandpa. She's from dang it, dang it, Grandpa. Uh, she might be, she might just be Chiaki in the uh, anime. Mm. Not the video game. Right, I got you, I got you. Yeah, this is anime. Wait, hold on, hold on. Maybe she is in the game. I think I've been able to pick out Fey Mata and one other thing, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah, she's Chiaki in the game, too. That's a good character. I like that character. Oh? Yeah. I haven't played Dongus Rongus. She's also uh, Delphia in Fire Emblem. Now that you say it, I can hear it. Yeah. Anyway. I gotta get in there! You do. What am I doing? Convoy. Who knows? Uh, let's give you... We've got silver tongue. That's... Oh, Happy's got that. Uh, you can have Coco's killer tongue. It's nice. You kill it. Uh, this killer tongue has better might, though. I mean, we're not bringing Dorothea. You can borrow it. Or, hell, if you want a good, uh, might tome, uh, grab Monica's tome. I might want to put that on uh, half, half. half half. Actually, yeah, we'll give we'll give Lysithia the um, silver tone, and we'll give half half the uh, half 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 crest tone. Half 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 half. Cause she's got a crest. Yeah, yeah. I can't recall where, but I feel like I've heard Marianne's v VA somewhere else before also. Uh, she's... Uh, Har Q. She's Haru. That's it! <clears throat> Bruh. She's great is what she is. Yeah, she's great. We love her. I'm going... I'm, I'm, I'm going for Haru in my current... Uh, P five. Nice, nice. Like I, I have a list of the ones that I want to see romantic it, endings for, and it's basically all yeah. of them except for On and Futaba and Uya. Not On. I don't. I don't really care much for her as a romantic companion. I don't know, it feels to me like that one. But, they hooked me early on that one. I mean, when, she, when you're in the cafe and she starts fucking crying. I see. You like to watch women suffer. No. <laughs> it just felt like we're having a moment. We are closer now. No, yeah. 
I, I feel or like... Or the very beginning of the game when you see her and it's raining and Joker's like, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. I feel like initially, like, you're supposed to be like, oh, damn, she's pretty. But, like, I feel like she ends up being more of a friend than anything. I am O. I mean, I finished out her uh, support chain. They're not called supports in that game. Uh, I do that, too. I finished out <laughs> her support chain, and I did it romantically. So, personally, I I don't exactly agree. I mean, hey, that's that's entirely fair. That's fair. That's fair. But uh, she's literally called the. She is literally the lover, Arcana. Like, yeah. and and I don't know. Maybe it's just a me thing because I also know. At least for three and four, how some arcanas match up to some characters, mm. and I haven't played any of three, but just from uh, like looking at seeing the characters' designs and uh, like hearing a little bit about their personalities, I think it, it would definitely either be uh, tall, redheaded mommy lady, or uh, what's her name? You you, you saw. Yusaru something aru, Yusaku, Futabdu, you the 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 brunette with the foopy hair. With the foopy hair, it goes like foop, foop. I'm trying to remember foop. tall red and she wear. Wait, are we okay? Hold on. Three. We're talking about Persona Three. Okay, yes. Okay. Okay. Y Yukari. Yukari, that's her that's name. That. I'm like, it's either Yukari I was, or I was Tall trying, Redheaded Mommy Lady. You, you said you haven't played any of any of three. I so have not I, played any of so three. So I then immediately seen, thought we were going to go to no. talking about four. And no, that's what like, I'm saying. What are you I talking have, about? That's what I'm saying. I haven't played any of three, yeah. but I've seen some of the character designs yeah. and heard a little bit about their characters. And I also know how some of the uh, Arcana match up. And I know that Yukari... That's her name, apparently. Yes. She's supposed to be the lovers. She is. And I know for four that Risei is the lovers. Yes. And uh, I've I have not gotten far enough into that game for this opinion to uh, to uh, hold and and have backing behind it. Germinate. Yeah, but just off of what I've seen so far from the two. Uh, female party members I've met and knowing who's to come I I, I feel like I would li I'm talking which is why <laughs> I feel like I would like Rise Re so it might just be a me thing ready uh, yes but I like I like Rise as a character I'm, but again I don't particularly enjoy her as a romantic companion like I said it might just be me oh yeah for sure for sure for sure um but I will also say that after after my base game playthrough and uh, playing Persona and Five Royal uh, and what I've seen so far in Scramble, uh, I I don't know if I'd say On is uh, best base game girl anymore. I mean, we all know who my, who my pick for best base game girl is. Oh, I know. It's Makoto. Oh, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> I I enjoy her as a character and just aesthetically a great deal, but... Like, I didn't dislike Makoto, and, and I agree she's a cutie, for sure. But, <clears throat> I don't know. It, and I will say, I realized it more on my playthrough of uh, Royal... But it did almost kind of feel like I see a lot of people say it feels like oh they they practically the game ships Joker and Makoto. I was like I didn't get that feeling, but I did get the feeling that they were trying to push Makoto is like the second in command of the Phantom Thieves. And to me that bugged me because it's like you just fucking got here. No, oh, yeah. That was the kind of impression I got. I'm gonna pause again real quick. I mean, to me, I feel like it's Hang out like, here and wait. To, to me, I feel like that is just sort of a comedic thing because it's just like, oh my god, oh, some Utah. somebody competent finally got here. I, I, I see what you're getting at. 
Because Joker, Joker is made out to be competent. However, he is a voiceless protagonist, and on and in just sort of in the in the things that he does as a character, it seems like he needs to be told to put his fucking shoes on in the morning. <clears throat> He's good at what he does, but he's, like, the lunkhead muscle of the team. Yeah. Like, not actually because that's Ryuji. I'm gonna pause again real quick. Yeah. But, like, he's he's really good at the fighting, and he picks up on that real quick. Mm. But they sort of make it out to be, like, that's, like, all he picks up on really quick. Yeah. Tell him what to fucking do. That's okay. Ready, Burke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's near where you are. <laughs> We have, there we have green units to save. Right, right. With on, I, uh, I feel like it's, it's because I, I, I feel she does feel a little bit more like a friend to me, but also it feels like, uh, I feel like I ship her more with either Ryuji or uh, Makoto than I do Joker. Mm. I don't know, like, I I understand why some people like to ship on and Ryuji. I get why. It's the, it's the same reason people like to ship. It's the childhood friend trope. Yes, I get that's the reason why. I get it. But, to me, that doesn't come off as like, oh, there's, there's like a tension that can build into a romance. Am I trapped? You might be. Kill the people and maybe you can get out. I I have captured this point. Oh, wait. I see what it is. It's not there's a green unit to save. You're the thing that needs to be saved. I need to be saved. We need to kill these things to save you. I see. Oh! Could you just teleport out of there? You know, I wonder. <laughs> I, I probably... It, no. it doesn't let you. <laughs> That would be Wait, so can we funny. just game the system? Can we make them be like, how the fuck did you get out of there? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so hold up. I people should be free up now. Uh, I can. So here's what I'm thinking. I can send Lysithia around this way to just one shot the armor knight and take Happy through to to get these two while because mm -hmm. it looks like you've got your plate full over here yeah sound good <clears throat> yeah. cool oh the gates to the kitchen open she's is she's was out now no the kitchen is where a was But anyways, they, on Ryuji, they, they didn't come off to me as like, oh, this is a uh, uh, you know, childhood friendship that can bloom into a relationship. And also, like, sure, they they, they were childhood friends, but they didn't come off as, like, childhood friends, more like, oh, we went to the same elementary <laughs> school and I know who you are. Yeah. Well, yeah, they... <clears throat> I don't know. But it, it seems it seems like something that could have been capitalized on that they just yeah. simply chose not to. Yeah, because to me theirs came off as as more of a uh, like brother sister type thing mm. is what I got from it. Minus the times Ryuji ogled at her.
We got cheese was out. Hooray! But the other, the other reason that I feel like I don't really want to, don't really care about seeing the romantic end of that uh, social link is just like, it, it just feels boring. <laughs> yeah? It kind of feels a little basic. Oh, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're, You're trapped, trapped in here, here with me. me. Like, unironically, yeah. But, uh, and it was like a, oh, who's about to fucking die? I thought I heard beeps. I don't think so. Everybody looks good. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, something seems off. But I thought I heard low health beeps for a second. But, uh, like I was saying, I... My initial first run through, I was definitely, that's what I was aiming for from the beginning of the game to, to when I actually did it. Mm. And then, afterwards, because I locked that in right about the time you uh, recruit Haru, I got to know Haru son. I was like, oh, she's cool. I don't necessarily regret having, uh, and I'm gonna keep using fucking Fire Emblem terms just because that's the headspace I'm in. I don't regret as supporting on. Yeah. But, when, uh, when it came time to, uh, to choose if, uh, you're romancing Haru or not, and she was like, the only one to uh, not just like say something that Joker can manipulate into being like, oh, I have feelings for you, but actually came off as being interested in you. Yeah. I was like, oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. And then she seemed so disappointed when you were like, I see you as a friend. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to cheat. Yeah. Is he trapped in there with you? I think that's the case. Uh, I'm I'm getting at a large out of being trapped. Because I already killed everybody who was trapped in there with that Oh, is there someone blocking another door we're supposed to kill? I guess. I... Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, these guys are keeping it over trapped. Ah, okay, you've got it. You've yeah, got I'm, it. I'm, I'm taking care of it. You just are kind of struggling on your own. But I oh, guess we haven't been using She's kind of low level, yeah. Uh, go do a thing while I help Lysithia. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh. But, uh... Well, I do still really like On, and some of that might just be, uh, I, I can't think of a better term for it than nostalgia, even though nostalgia isn't technically correct in this case, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I, I do believe I might say that, uh, depending on the day, there's someone else who I might say is, uh, best base game girl, and it might be Haru. <clears throat> yeah. I think Happy has someone trapped in there with her. I'm not worried about that, though. So I'm going to take Lysithia to go kill these archers back here, raining hell upon us. I got stuck going the wrong way. If I'm right, then uh, if we want to get that taken care of faster, then just switch to happy. Because I think the 
room she's in is locked. Just gonna see if there's people like keeping it locked or something. Just I got you, I got you. Doesn't look like it. I will say, I would also be a little bit interested in seeing, uh, in seeing, uh, Hifumi and Chihaya. And I don't dislike Mako, though. I, I'd be interested in seeing that, but it's... It's cute. But it's like, uh... Oh god, oh fuck, oh fuck. I'm out of healing items. Are we done? No. Damn. Cornelia's still gonna show up, and I'm assuming in that very back room... Uh, if you can tell what I'm talking about. Maybe Agitant. Uh, let's Hold on. See. Yeah. Hold on. I got this. I got this. Boom. Okay. Yep. You got some good fucking ears, Happy. I think all in all, I think I prefer the girls of the Phantom Thie Thieves to the non-Phantom Thieves. Yeah. And I think, in order, it would probably go tie for top, changing depending on the day, uh, Sumi and Haru, and then probably on... Then Lakoto, I think. Oh shit, Odess is here! Oh, hi. I've been standing in this room for three hours and they finally I, Is spawned. it because I came this way? Possibly. Because this is where the secret passage opened? That could be it. I mean, I already came to the secret passage. I'm in the secret passage. <laughs> I'm in the room with them. They're trapped in here with me. It's, the room's not locked. They're trapped in here with me! You wanna talk about being trapped? Check it! Cause you fucking suck. I don't know why you came here, but I must forget this. How could he not know? Let's collect what we let's collect what we found and leave this place. The Cuban should be able to tell us more. You be do be do the Bertha Bertha Bert. Yeah, after what happened with like Cynthia that makes sense. Saw it. Saw it. Saw it. Because isn't... Haru is the Empress, yeah? Yes. And isn't... Red-haired, tall mommy lady also the Empress? Yes, I believe so. Okay. I can't begin to know who the Empress is in uh, 4, though. 
I don't think there is an Empress on your squad. I don't think... I think that sounds right. Because Rise is the lovers. Uh, Chie is fucking Chariot. Punchy McGee. Chie uh, is Chariot. I, um, I feel like it makes sense for... Yeah, you... Yeah, yeah, you... Yukiko? Yukiko is Priestess. I was going to say, that makes sense for her. And uh, I... I say I now know, but it was, what, when we were playing Three Houses that I learned that uh, Naoto, is that her name, is a girl? Yeah, Naoto's a girl. Um, I'm uh, trying to remember what she is. Though. I don't know what she would be, but Empress doesn't make sense for her. I don't think so. And uh, Kanji, I believe, is the Emperor. So uh, I don't think it's someone on your team. Now, so is the is the fortune arcana? Um, if anything, it probably from the characters I've met, it probably makes sense for it to be that mean girl. I forget her name. I I think. It's been a fat minute since I played Persona Four. Um, now, to his fortune, uh, Yosuke is magician. I remember that. Because he's got pervy sage as his uh, as his persona. Jiraiya. with these ladies. Oh, Margaret is the Empress. In, ah. Uh, Persona 4. That's interesting. Hmm. Who are the Twin Wardens? They're the, uh, not the Justice. No, Justice is, um, no, she's Judgment. Justice, Justice is Akechi. Is Akechi. They're the Strength. That's all the internet talks about. <laughs> you don't drink enough, 80. You need to drink more. You like sweets, right? Alcohol's just sugar. Bullshit! <laughs> How does she's whiz react to you? Pussy. <laughs> I'll help you with whatever you want, Abby. <laughs> I will help you with whatever you want. You can have whatever you want from me, Cynthia. You can have whatever. I'm down cataclysmic. I said you can have whatever you like. Yeah, yeah. There we go. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay! Now I see him all. We did it. Dun, 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 dun. So one of these is going to be rough. Uh, the roughest of them all should be Coco, and she's still kind of leveled. Yeah, she's she's the one that I was I think, to. if I remember correctly, because we only get control of four people, I think Coco starts off as a, as a secondary unit that we can shove in someone's backpack. <laughs> I think halfway through the chapter, though, 
her and Happy Switch. <laughs> We've beaten someone up. But that is probably what we're doing, yes. <laughs> People just want us to help them with their shit for no reason. Mm -hmm. With Byleth, he, they're their professor, so they have to ask permission for the fucking field trips. Yeah. But here, you're just a colleague, and you get called out to help everyone. Mm -hmm. I guess because you're strong. Interesting. The rest of us were like, do we have You're to do smart this? Sometimes, I specifically planned a bachelor party around not going to a strip club. And yet here we are. Going to a strip club. Happy's calling us dumb. That doesn't help. Boop. You're stupid. Yuri, it's time for the thing. Am I not good enough to be a wolf? No. Why couldn't we pick them? Okay. All right, let's go. You don't want to grab that silver tone for Coco? It's up to you. And actually, we could also grab the Night Captain Sword for Yuri. <laughs> Cause that's it's a crest weapon, sure, but it's not a hero's relic. It's a breast weapon. What? <laughs> bottom. Past it, you fool. <laughs> Jesus fuck! What? Jesus Christ! Got a problem? No. Ugh. <laughs> you okay, bud? I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it, okay. Bop, bop. 
Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Brings all the boys to the yard. And they're like, it's better than yours. I'm so fast. I'm a pause. You're faster than fuck boy. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Go beat someone up. Beat a man. To death! Within an inch of his mortal life. Uh, and set his dick on fire. You go deal with that. I guess I'll go deal with this because I'm fast as fuck and can get there fast. Yeah. And you, you, you can figure something out. You're smart. Do something. Ready? Maybe. Break. Wow. I'm already almost there. The fire and the warriors. Three hopes. <clears throat> Three hopes. Technically correct. <laughs> There's no technically about it. Yugi summons monsters. Dual monsters. There's an idea. Yugi no to Yugi pro. Yugi no to... Teach a man who doesn't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> no. So aggressively, too. Mm -hmm. It's oh. a good game. It's a verm. Why did you call that? And happy. It's all happy's fault. She called her beautiful! I ship it. I mean, it makes more sense than honor you, <laughs> I'm out here spitting things that are gonna get me hated on the internet. <laughs> Bernadette is a nothing burger, and honor Yuji is a bad shit. I mean, it's definitely not the best shit, but it's a shit. On and Makoto is better. That thing's probably weak to all our weapon types, yeah? Uh, it's weak to fist and ice. I'm a fist it. And axe. I'm a fist it. I got the sword out of the way. So I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Does Yuri have an ice combat art equipped? Not a <laughs> Easy way to find out, friend. A light blade assassin. Light blade is not ice blade. No, it is not. And um, I know Happy doesn't have ice magic equipped at all. So cool. Coco might, but we don't have Coco available to control. Is 
is. Uh... I might be wrong about them switching. You were gonna ask a question. I was wondering if, like, uh, Yuri had, like, uh, just an inherent elemental thing. I don't believe he does, no. All, all his shit looks pretty blue. <laughs> Grasping at straws. Wow, Jim Rousey had a whole desk full of straws there grasping at. Mm -hmm. But honestly, saying that any ship is good, any persona ship is good and or bad is going to get you hated on the internet. Well, fuck them. Yep. Exactly. People are dumb. Pilardo. I remember him. Very minor antagonist. Let's kill him. And it's also like just because you ship characters with characters, those those characters don't get to uh, don't get to romance people. You do. So <laughs> I'ma do whatever I want, I guess. That's fair. <laughs> to an extent. Yeah. No, yeah, for sure. Uh but my, my thing is, like, I don't particularly enjoy Rise as a romance option. However, um, everybody else in the game, I have, like, a another character that I think is a cute ship for. Like, Chie and Yukio. Yukiko, rather. Um... Chie and Yukiko seem like a good fit together. Uh, Naoto and Kanji are, seem pretty good together. And, uh... Yosuke and Teddy feel like they're just meant for each other. Oh, <laughs> do they? Yeah. Fascinating. You'll understand why that's funny once we finally play that game. Uh <laughs> So, who's left? It's fucking you and Risa. So... Constance, why are you raining magic on us? And more so than, like, any other, uh... Any other of the lover characters, I feel, the game really pushes her at you. <laughs> Well, I, so, from what little I have seen about, uh, Persona 4 and its characters, uh, I'm gonna pause real quick, cause I'm, I'm lost. That's fair. Oh, I have, weird have to kill this guy. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem to me like the, or, and, and I could be wrong, I haven't played the game up to the point where Risa exists. Uh, she, she's fake for me. Mm -hmm. uh, she she doesn't exist in my game, uh, but my version of the game doesn't. Have oh, okay, I got you. I got you. My version of the game that I, yours that must my, have a late patch. Yeah, my my version of the game that uh, my uncle got from Nintendo, because my uncle works at Nintendo. Uh, nice. Yeah. Um, I can just imagine there's someone who's like, my uncle actually does work at Nintendo. And he wants you guys to stop making jokes like that. He's afraid he's going to lose his job. <laughs> Metodi. Let's go kill him. Yeah. But you were saying Reset but, doesn't uh, exist for you. Yeah, but I feel like from what I've seen, it doesn't seem so much like the game is trying to push, uh, like, convince you of a Reset you ship, and more that... Uh, Rise just has a massive crush on you. Oh, Rise does have a massive crush on you. That's not necessarily reciprocated. Unless that's what you want to do. Yes. No, it, it is it is your 
your choice whether you, whether that crush is uh, unrequited or not. And uh, but it is very clear that she wants it. <laughs> I mean, it's just me, but if she wants it, oh, she can have it. <laughs> She is unbelievably thirsty. I keep saying I am, but god damn, is she down cataclysmic. Oh, yeah. And I, I do, I, I think she is a, she is a good character. I, am, I enjoy her as a character. The, the thirstiness comes on a little strong for my taste. Sass. Say the friend. Suck of her. That was a bad level up. Yeah, that's life. That's <laughs> fair. Girl, who got you smiling like that? <laughs> really, Balthus. That wasn't the impression I got. Interesting. He's like, I'm fucking great. I'm incredible. Me, awesome. You, you not awesome. You, I mean, we did just shove you in a backpack. Oh no! <laughs> we can pile on! Jesus! Coco likes that! <laughs> <laughs> I like a man who talks down to me. God damn it, Coco. So at the expense of my complete and utter mortification. Well, I've still got my complaints. But I suppose I've given something from this too. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? What's that? I went ahead and hired the folks we saved. I made it look like I was doing them a favor. And those in doubt never seem to ask questions of their saviors. <laughs> I've been feeling a bit short-handed anyway, so it all worked out. <laughs> You're always looking for an angle, Yuri. That's the one thing about you that never changes. Yuri's pretty good. What do you mean, the one thing? What are you trying to say? What else changed? You know, you know the... You know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, so now I haven't changed? Do you even know what you're saying? Or are words just crawling out of your mouth faster than your brain can make them? Pretty much, yeah. Clearly, V hasn't changed either. Well, I have certainly changed. Alas, I have lost all of my hopes and dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing a friend. <laughs> Watch <laughs> <watched> silently. <laughs> Constance, did anyone ever call us that? It's hard to say. It's 
Dog, same. That sounds exactly like Yuri Bird. Oh, he's kind of schmoothing. somewhere with a roof please let her not be depressed please oh man coco no coco fat nuts coco fat nuts <laughs> when she's out in the sun they shrivel up God. Damn. What's up? Signs of the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Everything has its use. Mom has her use. Nice. Nice. Owl feather. Yeah. What? Owl feather. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh -huh. I was right. Uh huh. I had to celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. Father. Father of fat nuts. The glory. Engage. That's not for another couple months. I want it now! I gotta play Pokemon first. Yeah. So that brings up another question. Because <coughs> I think, what, we, we missed two weeks, is that right? So That's why we've been playing this. So I think I was correct from the beginning that if we had gotten every week and we played those two... I think we'd, we'd probably have at least one, maybe two weeks between this and Pokemon. But Pokemon is fucking Pokemon. So, depending on what you're wanting to do with that, I'd, I'd be very surprised if that lasted all the way up and... T well... Well, no, because when, when does... Because Persona 4 comes on Switch, or drops on Switch, the day before Fire. Yes, sir. So I'd be very surprised if uh, if Pokemon took us all the way up to to, to Persona Four at least. No, yeah. you're right. You're right. You so that so that begs more. the question: What the fuck between that and that? Wow. Something stupid, probably. Persona Five Presidents. <laughs> Persona Five Presidents. <laughs> Ooh, a piece of coffee. Uh. See who's shooting me here. I mean... What? Because cause I don't know how long exactly it will take if supposedly there's like three different campaigns in the game if you're wanting to do all three. Oh, in uh, Pokemon? Yeah. I don't know. And how much, like... Because cause I don't know, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Because we, we could just, like, are we just going to do the gym challenge? There's the, the other two campaigns, I forget exactly what they're about. And then... No, it's the gym challenge, something to do with the Titan Pokemon, and then stuff to do with Team Star, I think is what it is. 
And I think we also still have to decide if we're going to make it any sort of challenge run or not. <clears throat> there is the cage lock. That is an idea. And I think with a week between when the game comes out and the first night we'd be streaming, at the very least, one of us should be able to play far enough to see how viable a cage lock would be. And if we want to do a cage lock like all three... Uh, what you jiggies? What you jiggies? We could even figure out how we would do cage matches for the for the uh, for the what you jiggies beside the gym challenge. We need a crest for this. Right? Uh, you don't need a crest to use the night captain's sword. It's a sacred weapon, not a. Uh, it's not even a sacred weapon. It's just a fucking sword. Nice. It's not linked to any crest. Nice. I think the art of the sword, it shows it has the Crest of Saros etched on it, but that's just because it's a sword for a knight captain of the Knights of Saros. Lawrence Hellman's Manes. There's a there's a non zero chance we might get his like new favorite weapon here, depending on what his stat spread is like. Cause if we S rank this we get Arrow of Indra, which is a magic lance. Let's play the game. No. Okay. We're gonna play Operation Windback. Wait, I gotta get in there! Oh fuck, no. Wait, you can fix this, I think. Menu. Menu. Minus. Retreat! Or, wait, can you add me in here from here? Hold on. Wait, hit B. Try adding me... Uh, no, because minus... If it would add me in, it would do it. So, yeah, I think you have to retreat. <laughs> Turn to war, map. Restarting the battle from the beginning would just... We'd fade out and go right back in. <laughs> that seems productive. I gotta get in there! Seems like a productive activity. I think your your preps should be saved though. Let's earn our key. Let's earn our key. But uh, I I don't know. It's possible a Pokemon like this game specifically, and maybe running it in that fashion could take up until then. But I'd, I'd be a little surprised if it did. Rage lock. Especially if the run just ends for one of us before we get to the end of the game. But uh, then, I mean... Then if, what do we do? If the cage lock just ended earlier on, like one of us lost their lock run, we could, we could just fucking finish the game out. Yeah. Now but, uh, what do we do? <laughs> but as far as filling the time between the end of that game... And, and again, like I said, I don't know, maybe it will take that long. I'd be surprised if it did. But maybe we... I don't know. It, it'd be up to you, of course. Because there, we could stretch that game if we really wanted to. Like, we could finish the fucking Pokedex. We could do Wi-Fi battling and shit like that. You can stretch that game for for two or three months if you really want. Persona sure. 5 Prison. <laughs> There's also that. There's also Yugi No to Yugi Pro. I'm kidding. I don't know why you hate that game, but I respect that you do. It's, it's just not just not mm -hmm. Is that what you thought when you were watching the anime? This isn't for me. 
No, when I was watching the anime, I'm like, maybe. Maybe. And then I tried playing Master Duel, and I'm like, maybe not. That's the problem. You tried <laughs> playing Master Duel. That's not a good way to get into actually playing the card game. And I'm like, maybe not. That is not a good way to get into actually playing the card game. I was like doing the tutorials and Master Duel just throws you in the fucking deep end. When I was there's doing... tutorials, but it fucking throws you in the deep end. Yeah, because I was I was doing the tutorials and like I was like, okay, I feel like I'm feel like I'm understanding this. And then like all of a sudden it was like doing like a whole bunch of stuff that it had not explained and I'm like, wait, what's happening? Oh my god. You're using so many cards right now. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Honestly, there's there's something else on Switch that I think is much better for that. A dual links. No, not dual links. I don't I don't think that's on Switch. Is that not on Switch? Uh uh Legacy of the Duelist. Oh. I think is much better for some for a position like yours. Duelist of the Rose. Because you, because Legacy of the Duelist, like, story mode can't, basically you're just retreading all the same ground that's, like, in the animes from, like, dual monsters up into Vrains, mm. but because it plays like that and you're playing, like, duels that happened in the story, like, with their decks, like, beginning of uh, the dual monster series, you're playing with Yugi's deck and it's just, like, fucking, okay, I play Mushroom Man. I set one card in my back row. It's your turn. And, like, things get more as as yeah. you get deeper into the series because that's what it fucking did in the actual anime. Yeah. I think something like that is much better for someone in your position. The problem, however, is that Link Evolution costs money and Master Duel did not. I did the side mission. We'll just play one that doesn't uh, doesn't follow the rules oh. at all, and we'll just go back and play Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden. If you want to play a Yu-Gi-Oh! game that doesn't follow the standard rules of Yu-Gi-Oh! Play Dungeon Dice Monsters. They had a game for that? They did. I did. It was on the Game Boy, and I never played it, but it looked like it was ass. I think there's another uh, video game on the GBA. There, there was. I forget what it was called. Eternal Duelist Soul, I think. Something like that. There were a few on the GBA. And I, I remember playing one that was, again, still a little different. Like, it it was supposed to play, take place during Battle City, and you were like a friend of Yugi and Joey's. And it used, like, the Battle City rule where you ante up cards during the duel. But cards in that game, sometimes they had effects that their real-life counterparts didn't. Or they had effects when their real-life counterparts didn't. Like, there's this old vanilla normal monster called, like, Doro Doro or something. And in his flavor text, in his real-life card, it says something about, you know, he can multiply himself by splitting apart and in the GBA game they just gave him that ability like oh when you summon this card you can uh, use its ability to uh, if you have an open monster zone uh, play a copy of it there it's like this is some fucking magic the gathering shit <laughs> and, that, and that game also gave your cards like fucking Pokemon type advantages uh, forbidden memories does that there's like two GBA uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games in the same engine, so they might both do that. Uh, Forbidden Memories was the uh, was a PS One game. Ah, that like, I think I I also know like it, again doesn't play by standard Yu-Gi-Oh rules, but I know I think it's called Duelist of the Roses. Yeah, that's a game that gets talked about a lot as like good Yu-Gi-Oh video games. Even though it doesn't play like Yu-Gi-Oh does at all.
But like I said, I, I never played Duelist of the Roses. I've just seen some gameplay of it. It feels like it's trying to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! Fire Emblem Love Child. Yeah, I've, I've heard the Duelist of the Roses is like, what if Yu-Gi-Oh! was chess? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I don't want if it's gruesome. the dancer class first. Hi, Anna. That's the wrong way, Anna. Anna. I maybe we don't have to do everything. I would I would hit up that special one first because I think that specific house that you just hovered over. I think that's where we unlock the dancer class. This one. I think so. Well, then we would have to do. I think what it... Well, that's the thing. I, I've... What I, does it mean in this area? That's what I'm unsure about. Because I can never remember, even though I've played a whole run-through of this game, so you think I fucking remember. You think but you I think know how to clear play. all side missions in the area means literally all the side missions that appear during that battle in that territory. I think. Well, it's fine now. I mean, if we have to do everything, then it doesn't matter what order we do it in. Let's find out. You pissing all by yourself, man? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I thought it was a straightforward question. <laughs> Are you pissing all, all by, by yourself? yourself? <sighs> what do you mean by that? Ooh, I don't like that. What? I said I don't like that. What don't you like? That. What? That. What? Ooh, wait, we can give... Oh, wait, never mind. We don't have that. We don't have that. Wait, never why mind. Don't those, me. Why does Wafael have battle advantage up there? It's probably... It's, uh, they're probably mages. But Bati didn't have that. Oh, then it's his battalion. Because I was going to say, when jocks punch nerds, they get bonus damage. Yeah, he's, he's got a battalion. Battalion. Okay, well, we've already... Oh, uh, yeah, we've got coverage for up there. Yes, <sighs> So shit, 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 shiz, shit, whiz, shit head, shit head, so shithead. We've got shithead, uh, Lawrence, uh, Bernadette. I've got to get in there. We do need to get in there. Um, can't have you forgetting twice in a row. Can't. Or you could. Uh. I remember seeing this, uh, this series a while back from this channel that did mostly Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, and it was called that set Yu-Gi No to Yu-Gi Pro, and the guy took a buddy of his that knew nothing about Yu-Gi-Oh, had never even seen the anime, mm -hmm. and was teaching him how to play the card game, 
and uh, the way they did it I think worked pretty well. It it feel it felt kind of long and tedious at times, from what I saw. But that might just be me, a dude who knows how to play the game. Because what they did is like the first episode was like an hour and a half or two hours long or something, and it was like okay, I'm so I'm explaining the basics of the game to you, friend, and uh, when we actually get into actually playing here in the later half of the video, uh, you are not, uh, what, what are these? Those are punchies. You are not, uh, we're not actually, actually playing. I've got these pre-constructed, like, 20 card decks, almost like dual links, but we're gonna play with full monster fields and everything, just like real Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, uh, and, uh, like, he pre-constructed them, and it was just vanilla normal monsters, so no effects, no nothing, and very simple spells and traps, like Pot of Greed, very simply draw two cards, Monster Reborn, very simple, Harpy's Feather Duster, very simple, that kind of shit. Uh, and then, uh, for the next uh, episode... They, like, started sort of building on some of those ideas and whatnot. So, like, I don't think they started messing with, uh, with, uh, what you're doing. With effect monsters right then. But they, like, were now using full-size decks. I think, I think what it was is they were using more complex spells and traps, maybe. Uh, I forget what else, but, like... From episode to episode, they built upon it. And then, oh, now we'll add in effect monsters. And now, uh, now we're going to, uh, learn about fusion summoning. And your homework, you know, was to watch an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. <laughs> and, uh, by that point, even, oh, the huh. friend had already started getting more interested in it on his own. I was like, I started playing uh, Link Evolution on my own at home. So, have you been playing Yu-Gi-Oh without me? I'm so sad. This was our thing. But I, I think that's honestly not a bad way to go about teaching someone who doesn't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Just, yeah. you know, start with the absolute bare-bones, simple basics that you would have had like when the game was brand fucking new. And just build on it from there. Like maybe, like you you've seen the anime, so like you know some things here and there. So like for you, it's like okay, very simple deck focused around dragons, and your boss monster is blue eyes, and it just does big dumb dragon things. And you just build on it from there. Start at adding effects or whatever, and and as you like, cause there's like. There's synchro monsters for blue eyes, stuff like that. Just build on it. Happy yeah, can handle that. If we're worried about it, one of us can take control. Enhancing full there. Bernie has a purpose. Bernie? Have a purpose. Have a purpose. That's weird. She wasn't dodge rolling. What? Oh, we lost. What? What they said Great Plaza? Was that yeah, what we lost? Grand Plaza. Grand Plaza. This isn't the beginning of the battle. Grand Plaza, which one's that? This is the alleyway. 
So it's got to be this one over here. We weren't paying attention. And no, this is a clearing. Crossroads. Grand Plaza. After we took this, we stopped paying attention and an enemy came in and took it. Okay. So, we just don't do that. Okay. Right now, they're advancing on where you are. I think it might just be there is still this grab order. No, what it, no, what it is is at reinforcements spawned in and they're heading for where you are. Working on killing them. Bernie can do it. I thought Happy was dealing with That's what we did before. That was right. <laughs> No, not necessarily. Just things are different now. Bernie is not way up top like she was before. Yeah. said so. He said that with his mouth. Well, I can appreciate for an outsider there's a, there's a lot to Yu-Gi-Oh. And again, this might just be the bias of someone who knows how to play the game. But I don't think it's it's all that bad. Uh, I, I technically that is how I learned. I had a base knowledge and it was, and it was built upon yeah. as the game got older with me. I mainly just have an issue with trading card games in general because it's just like everything. Ev it seems like you stop. All the cards have their own mechanics, and you have to like know how each card works and how they build upon each other and how to bu how to build a deck that best utilizes all of those things. It's just way too much shit, and also collecting all that shit is completely random if you don't want to spend a billion dollars on it. And it's just... It's too much. No, I get you. <laughs> I mean... To just... To play a, to, to play a trading card game like Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively, yeah, you need an intimate knowledge of, like all the relevant decks and all the possible cards that could be run in those and what they do and how they'll interact with uh, each other and the cards that you're running, sure. Mm. But you don't need that kind of intimate, you know, no-life fucking knowledge just to play the game for fun. Yeah. <clears throat> Giant wolf. 
probably want to kill that for a side mission. Yeah. I'll go see what it's weak to. <clears throat> but like, oh, I chose the absolute wrongest way. I need that. With with games like. Anna's round table where there's no like deck building or anything. Everybody's got the same cards, everybody's got the same kit, and for the most part, every card is using pretty much the same mechanics. Swords, lances, fire, we have those specifically. If they get brought over here. Uh she's Liz is on his way. Um But like Bernadette when when we play that game together, it's like, well, I know I I may not know exactly what everyone is bringing to the table because I don't know what they've drawn, but I have at least a base knowledge of what could be coming around the next corner. Right, I gotcha. Like, when you play with when you play with people. Even if you've played with them a few times, a lot of the game is going to be spent like, okay, I need to read what your card does and what the fuck everything's going What, What the hell is even going on here? Well, part of it is just... Because cause even in like my own decks for those games, I have to do that. I have to like double check like, oh, what a... I, uh, let me see here, my card. Let me read it real quick. Uh, but that's just because, in general, I think Yu-Gi-Oh cards do, well, and Magic cards, they both do way more than something like Anna's Roundtable cards. Exactly. Which is why I find it less... The actual appealing. interactions I don't find to be too uh, bad to figure out. I think She's Wiz has a Fire Blade combo. Yes, he does. Yeah, fires. Well, it helps if you use it on the back. Well, I tried. He moved. <laughs> I can't do it again. <laughs> See, if I, uh, if I had Merc Whistle, the Edelgard is going to be fun. <laughs> I didn't say don't work with the metal guard. I know. I'm you just, also can't yet. I know. I'm just being a, a dick. A doofus. A dick. I was more uh, directing that that pointed jab at the game. Uh, You're being a dick to the video. <laughs> You're being a dick. But I am. Uh, he was being a dick. I was. You were absolutely being a dick. I was just giving stuff out. Oh, we were talking about card trading card games. Yeah. But I don't. I don't think the actual uh, interactions between cards and in, in Yu-Gi-Oh is too difficult to figure out. It's just so well, with the exception of missing the timing. Because you can miss the timing with some effects. And that is stupid when it happens. Mm -hmm. And it also do in the wording. Like an effect effect might be written in a way that's like, uh, when this happens, do this. Yeah. Uh, and if effects chain in such a way that like that effect activates, but you chain an effect onto that your effect resolves first and then we get back to mine it's like well we are no longer when the thing happened so now my effect that should have happened fizzles because I have now missed the timing yeah that's bad design like that shouldn't be how that works or it's something it's, like it should that. create a stack see th and there is a stack of effects that's in magic it is called the stack in yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh it's the it's, uh, it's a chain link and you can chain effects to each other and they do and it works the same as magic they resolve uh uh, last in, first out. Mm -hmm. it, it works the same way. Uh, it's just depending on the state of the board at that time, because like uh, okay, cards that you might be aware of. Uh, let's take uh, 
not dark magician, but let's let's take dark magician girl for example, and uh, mystical space typhoon. Uh, or sure. wait, no. Let me think of a better. Example. I know hardly any other cards. Okay, then, then I'll, I'll like make some shit up. Let's say I play. A, yeah, I'll make some shit up. Let's say I summon a monster to the field, and you're like, "Oh, that looks scary. I don't want to fucking deal with that. Let me uh, flip over this trap card to nuke your monster. Uh, mm. I'm going to target your monster, and uh, you know when I flip this card, you know I get to target one of your monsters, destroy it, and you take damage equal to its life points or something. Let's say that's the effect." It's like, okay, so now that is... We've created a chain. That's chain length one. And then I can respond to that. I'm going to chain this card here. Uh, when I activate this, I sacrifice uh, something I have on the field. And uh, I, I don't know, uh, can special summon a monster uh, from my hand uh, whose level is two levels less than that monster. Uh, and I target the original monster I summoned. So I target that and it's sacrificed and gets off the field. Uh, and we assume that's the end of the, or we assume that nothing else gets chained, that's all. That last card resolves first, getting my monster off the field, I get to special summon something, then it comes back to the second card, which is going to destroy my monster. Well, when you activated that, you had to declare your target. And you declared my first monster, let's just say it was Dark Magician, you declared my Dark Magician. It's no longer on the field, though. So, that effect just fizzles. So why does that third ability, that third card activate, like, when a trap goes off? Uh, I didn't... It, it doesn't have to be necessarily when a trap goes off. Uh, s suppose it was... So why, does, why are you able to interrupt a current in action that like does a thing when there are things so like, so in trap motion at the moment so uh, so it's like I, I understand traps but they're on the they're on the field yes that so that card is in play why does some other effect that it, you either it could be another trap that maybe I'd already had face down for more than a turn so now it's primed and ready to be activated uh, and I just activated it to make the thing happen. Uh, but probably what's more likely is it might have been a quick play spell. Quick play spells can be played uh, during your turn from the hand at the same spell speed as traps so they can respond to traps. Or uh, if you set one face down, they can, like traps, be activated during your opponent's turn. Mm, okay. <clears throat> They seems like something to add to the game that makes things worse but sells more cards. I what? I don't know that it makes things more work because it's what, adding complexity that wasn't originally built into the game. Well, quick play spells have been a part of the game since for ever. Well, then that is bad design. <laughs> it's. I, and again, like I was saying to him, this might just be the bias of someone who knows how to play the game. Mm. I don't think it's hard to understand. The hardest part about stuff like that to understand is spell speed itself. Because uh, spell speed is a weird fucking mechanic. Because with magic, it's just like, you know, uh, it, you have sorcery abilities and instant abilities. If something goes at sorcery speed, you can only do it on your turn. If something's at instant speed, you can do it on either turn. Mm -hmm. Uh and for for better, we're allowed uh, to dismount, right? We don't have to, but we can. Well, I feel like she's. If you want to bring her, we should probably dismount her. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like it. The thing about Bow Knight is, or because she has a crest, we can give her the Raphael gem. Yeah. And that will nullify her horse weakness. But. uh... So, in Yu-Gi-Oh, just regular plain spells, they're kind of like sorceries. You do them only on your turn. Traps, they're kind of a mix between sorceries and instants. To use a trap, on your turn you have to set it face down. But then think of it like an actual real-life trap. You have to prime it first, 
and that's ending your turn. So as soon as it's your opponent's turn, now that trap is primed. And as long as you meet the criteria to activate it, you can then activate it at any point, whether it's their yeah. turn or your turn, like an instant. Quick play spells, they they are like instants, ex except they still keep some of the weaknesses of a spell. If they're in your hand, they can't be activated during your opponent's turn. They have to be set face down like a trap to play them that way. Mm -hmm. And then spell speed, I will admit, is fucking weird, like I said. Because there's spell speed 1, 2, and 3. Uh, and it all has to do, like... You have to be a higher spell speed than something to be able to react to it. So, like, a trap is a higher spell speed than a normal spell. Uh, a quick play spell... Because uh, normal spells... Like, like that, those are spell speed 1. Trap cards, quick plays, those are spell speed 2. The only spell speed 3 things in the entire game are counter traps. Uh, counter traps, as long as their criteria is met, can respond to anything. But the only thing that can respond in kind to counter traps are other counter traps, because they are also spell speed 3. Yeah. <clears throat> Like I said, spell speed is a fucking mess, uh, and sometimes figuring out what spell speed things are can be weird, uh, especially like certain effects. Like if a monster has an effect that says uh, quick effect, that's a spell speed 2 effect, mm. which is weird sometimes. Uh, but the action... But like I said, it, it really only gets really weird when you take counter traps into effect, but because traps by their very nature are slow, needing to be played face down during your turn before they can be activated, they don't tend to see a lot of play in uh, most decks that take themselves seriously. Mm. For casual play, they're fun. Mm. See, like, my issue is not necessarily even with, like, the base mechanics of the thing. Like, I, I can get, like, the outer workings of the thing. It's the fact that there are just so many There is a lot cards. of interaction in a game like you, yeah. There's so many fucking cards, and I have to, And like, so many of them are bad. And you have to start, like, you have to start somewhere. And when you start buying things, you can, like, get a starter deck... But, like, that's not going to be super great. Yeah. It, there's a very clear difference between Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic. Yu-Gi-Oh! starter decks are not really ready to go out the box. Yeah. Whereas Magic decks, uh, they're not the best, but they can go out the box. Yeah. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! starter decks, if you want to play, like, a starter deck, what you really need to do is buy three copies of that starter deck. Because yeah. odds are, there's a good card in that deck that there's only a one of, so you need to buy it three times to get your three of. Yes. But, uh... Or you can... But that's, that's a problem with fucking commercialism and all that shit. Am I in there? Yes. Awesome. Or you can start buying, like, a bunch of booster packs or boxes. Yeah. And whatnot. And I mean, honestly, all I did for building my deck is, from watching the anime... I decided I like heroes, and that was the deck I wanted to build. Yeah. So, uh, as a kid, when I originally first drafted the deck, I just, from the cards I had in my collection, and whenever I would get booster packs, I would be like, oh, those are hero cards, I want to use those. Or, uh, because I didn't have everything, you know, oh, this this works with that with my deck kind of okay-ish. I'm, I'm gonna slot that in there. Yeah. But, uh... <clears throat> if, you, if you did decide you wanted to pick up and play Yu-Gi-Oh! physically, uh... casually, I'll say, uh, it's just a matter of, like, it, if there's ever been a deck you saw in the anime that you really liked, then it's, it's easy enough to just to be like, okay, then we can say that's the deck you're gonna play. Or, uh, if there's not a particular deck, you know, uh, what kind of decks and play styles from the anime did you like? Because we can find a deck that'll do that kind of thing. And then, uh, 
either from, you know... Because most... I, I will say, I don't know so much about Magic, but I know for Yu-Gi-Oh! It's something that I do like that they do. Uh, most Yu-Gi-Oh! decks nowadays are archetypes. So instead of being like, oh, I want to build a deck that does things with the graveyard, and then finding a whole bunch of different cards that do things with the graveyard, it's like, okay, you want a graveyard deck? Well, there's an archetype for that. Grave Keepers. All those cards, they do shit with the graveyard. <coughs> So just get yourself some Gravekeeper cards and see how they kind of work together and maybe find a, a something else here or there that, while it's not a Gravekeeper, maybe does some uh, some graveyard shit and you've got a deck. Yes. But this requires a lot of uh, research and also uh, luck. Or... Like uh, luck, it does, it, luck in terms luck would be of, the bad way to do it because you honestly probably shouldn't buy boosters. Yeah, that is not the uh, the financially stable way to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, yes, but trading card games are also stocks. Yeah, but it, yeah, that, <laughs> that's the other thing. Like it, it's either luck or maybe you need a card, but just. You're you're unlucky, and that card is like sixty dollars. I I will say for heroes there are expensive cards for that deck, but that's because heroes, uh, as it turned out, became a popular deck, and Konami knows that uh, because it's so popular, they can get away with printing those cards at higher rarities. Yeah, which makes the uh, the the resell price for those cards go up. So like. For an optimal hero deck, and mine is not optimal, uh, you want a card in there called Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier. That card, last I checked, goes $70 per copy. I don't run it. An optimal hero deck wants a card called Evil Hero Malicious Bane, who last I checked went over $300. I don't run him. Uh, so like I said, at, at a competitive level, all that stuff is definitely things to worry about and amplify the even. But for just a casual... Like, like I, I put maybe $70 total into building my deck. Like, when I... when I, Like, when I played it against Simon, mm -hmm. I, I, touched, I touched that deck up, like, just before COVID hit. Yeah. And I spent $70... Like, I took the childhood deck I had that was shit because I built it as a kid and spent... Just 70 bucks on, like, making it more modern. And, sure, 70 bucks, that's a lot to spend on, on cardboard. But to build that deck optimally, I would have easily been out <laughs> over, like, 500 bucks if I wanted to build that deck optimally. Even more than that, even. Because that's not even counting for staples that run in every deck. But even though they're ran in every deck, they're super fucking rare and have only been printed once. Mm -hmm. uh, to just play the game casually and have fun with friends, you don't need to optimize your decks. Yeah. You just have to, like, you know, put put the time into building a, building a deck. And also... We got Dancer! And also, you know, care enough. And, and, and again, I don't think it takes as much time as you as you think it does well provided you have some sort of idea <laughs> of either what kind of deck you want to build or if you've seen a deck from the anime that you like enough to build it may take more less time than i think it does but it may still take more time than i want to put into it <laughs> or you could get a Magic Commander deck. It is pretty good out the box. Yeah, I, and again... I'm, and you have more people to play it with. Yeah. For, especially in, in the, the circles we <laughs> run with. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! players are like me, and I haven't played IRL in years. Yeah, I, because my friends don't play at IRL. I, I've got like one person that I would maybe play Yu-Gi-Oh! with, and that is you. <clears throat> I need to get back up to Maybe Simon, Simon, if you could talk him into it. I don't think I could. <laughs> Maybe Eric. But I, I, I don't could. know if you'd want to play Eric in Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Eric fucking sweats. <laughs> well, that, 
that's that's the thing. Like, I love Eric, but if he when he when he gets in when he gets into a game, he gets into a game, and that's that's fine. <laughs> like more power to him if that's how he wants to play. But it it kind of becomes the pro, and I feel like that this is the only reason I'm able to get away with wins whenever I sit down to play Commander with Steven and the others. Mm. Like those guys, they have put far more time and money into their decks than I have, and I, and I have five different decks. But I have not put near as much time or money into a single one of them as they have multiple of their own. Uh, and and even though, like, partly because most of my decks are based off of pre-cons, and the magic pre-cons are pretty alright out the gate, uh, like, I've put some upgrades into my decks uh, between those kinds of facts, plus, uh, oh, she looked good, plus, uh, commander being a free-for-all there's multiple people sitting at the table kind of thing it's it's not it, it's certainly still possible I'm, I'm still not you know like the strongest swinger there but there's also that place to my advantage like yeah yeah there, you can play multiple games and not go through all of the cards yeah. that you like have in that deck yeah yeah but that also kind of plays to my advantage, because so what if I don't have the strongest deck at the table? Like, maybe Steven's going to be more worried about what Devin's deck is doing, which gives me a chance to set up my board. And now I am in a strong enough position to do stuff. Or I can I can luck into a board wipe, and then uh, set back up really quickly and build momentum. Or they just wear each other down, and I can swoop in real quick and steal a win. <clears throat> Because most of the time, whenever I, I've sat down to play Steven one-on-one, -on -one, unless he plays one of his weaker decks, I usually get ran pretty hard. Uh, and, and that's the other thing. Those guys, they, they've got a bunch of different decks built, and they've, they've put a lot of time and, and thought into most of their decks. But they have lower power decks. Whereas, like, you are right... I don't think Eric has a lower power Yu-Gi-Oh deck. I think he's got the deck he sweat into, and that's like it. He bled, sweat, and cried into. I could be wrong. Maybe he's watching and he's typing right now. Um, actually, I have an Aqua Actress deck, and it's shit. I don't know. It is shit. Uh, group session. But, uh... But, no, I, I, I totally, I totally get it. I do. Even, even I, who I, I know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And I do really like the game. I just... It's really hard for me to justify putting any money into physical cards for it anymore. Like, as a kid, the other kids on my block played Yu-Gi-Oh! But I don't have that anymore. You could always say, oh, well, just go to your locals. But it's like, no. do I really want to fucking do that? No. Don't. Because all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, get sweat on, get fucking wrecked. And see a lot of butt yeah. You're gonna get sweat on in multiple ways. <laughs> you say that, and it is kind of funny, but I, I think they've like put into like rules for no, I, I know it's a thing. <laughs> I know it's a thing. But I think they've put into like into the actual rules for like <laughs> they've put into the rules for like bigger events now, like it's it's happened it's happened at a Yu Gi Oh event. A dude called a judge over because his opponent stank. Yeah. And the stanky dude got the loss. Good. So they've, they've kind of tried to do something about that. Yes. However, it is still an event? Yeah, like I said, at the bigger events. I'm sure at local levels it's still a problem. Oh, no, no, no. At event? It doesn't matter. Gamer BO is going to happen. Oh, yeah. And... The card sections are always the worst. I bet. And every Friday night for Friday Night Magic and also just the like card places, 
There's always an odor. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. An odor. And like, like I said, I, I would, Salts. I would not push a day in my life for playing competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm. And I, and I do really like the game, but I would not suggest playing it competitively. Uh, nor would I suggest playing Magic competitively. Uh, but I, I just like playing card games, and I, and I will say that's another point Magic has over Yu-Gi-Oh for me. Like, the thing I hate most about playing card games is deck building, but that's because it hurt my brain to think of ratios, but Commander gets rid of that thought. I don't have to worry about how many of a card I'm running, and now I just have to decide, does this card fit my deck better, or does this card? Which is a much easier decision to make. Or you can play a deck building. My thing is... There are, there are deck building <laughs> games, that is true. My thing is, I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> yeah. No, I got you, I got you. But, uh... If you were to pick up a card game just to play casually, like, just so you can, like, participate the next time you come over... To Stevens and there's the table playing magic and you're just kind of sitting on the couch playing your switch. Uh, if you care to participate, you might not. I don't fucking know. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think it would be too difficult to just be like, okay, I'll get a magic precon, and you could leave it at that, honestly, if you wanted to. Maybe get a card for it here or there. I have a magic precon. Like, but for Commander, if you really want to, you can build a deck and just do a card swap here or there as you learn more. Maybe you discover a card, you're like, oh, I really like that card. Just swap it into your deck. You don't have to constantly... Because that's, that's a problem with, like, actual competitive magic where they have those, like, cycles or whatever they're called, or cop cards... You know, you they were legal to play one season, and now they're not. Oh, standard format. Yeah, standard format. And with Yu-Gi-Oh, like, they don't have that. You can play a the card how old cards. it is. The ban list is fine, because some of those cards are really fucking strong. Like, Pot of Greed goes crazy. Yeah. Uh, and that card's actually been on the ban list since they introduced, introduced ban list. It's never been off. Oh, but, uh... But the problem with Yu-Gi-Oh! is power creep is the problem with that game. So it doesn't matter, like, oh, you can build your one deck and do the same thing like that for a commander if you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! So long as you're fine with it getting outdated and power crept. Just unless like, just like unless your PC. favorite deck happens to be Very something like Heroes, voice. like mine, mm -hmm. where because that deck is popular it continually gets legacy support. Uh, and I feel like Konami does this on purpose. They give it support in such a way that it just manages to stay in the realm of relevant. Not as like a tier, you know, Z tier one or even tier two or three deck, but it's a good rogue option. And it's kind of been that way forever. It's another perfect for those two. <laughs> You're fucking lucky. I hate you. <laughs> I hate me too. A facility can be expanded. Another settlement needs our help. But, uh... If, if like, the... The digital... If the digital ways to play Yu-Gi-Oh! felt more accessible, I would definitely push harder for learning to play it and just play it in the virtual form, yeah. but uh, and I could be wrong, but I haven't actually looked into Master Duel enough to know for sure, but Master Duel does seem like it wants you to spend a lot of time in that game to build your deck, if you want to build a specific deck. And money! <clears throat> you could do it without the money, but you'll be spending a lot of time. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, I could be wrong, because I think uh, I, I know a guy at work who, who's also into Yu-Gi-Oh. And I think I complained about that when Master Duel first dropped, because I played it like the night it came out, not once since. And he was like, I don't know if I agree with that. 
Yeah, the, like, reviews of Master Duel that I have seen are pushing it as a relatively, like, accessible and good way to get into you. Okay, I might just be impatient as all that is then. That, that, that might be it, but I, I honestly don't know. I, I it's couldn't. Also you I have couldn't. It's also with the game. So yeah, and I know what deck I want to build. The slower shit. Yeah. So it's like, I, I know what I want to do, but I'm stuck with these. Right. Rather than somebody who's like, I remember this show. I like these yeah. guys. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I'll say, it's funny, because like, I played Duel Links when that first dropped, and I played that for a while. Uh, unless there's anything else you care about, we can just go straight to the main battle. Jump, jump on into it. But uh, I played Duel Links when that first came out, and that game literally, like, you were literally stuck with the slow shit. When Duel Links first came out, like, your power move was I tribute my two monsters to play Blue Eyes White Dragon, and that was your power play. Lackluster ritual. Throughout the game's lifespan, it has become more, you know, closer to regular Yu Gi Oh! Oh, turn one, I play my Vision Hero Vion, which lets me fetch a card from my deck. Uh, and I play this card, which lets me special summon this. And now I'm going to uh, link these two together. To It's become more like that, for sure. One turn games. It's just too much shit, man. Ooh, I was kidding. <laughs> but uh, but when Duel Links first came out, it was slower Yu-Gi-Oh. But that's that's also something that I kind of like about Yu-Gi-Oh. I like I like the way it's depicted in the in the shows where it's kind of a back and forth and there's interaction. Uh, like don't get me wrong, I've I've pulled off one turn kills before. Uh, it's not something I've, I've done consistently. So when I've done it, it felt like, oh, my balls feel huge right now. <laughs> but I also, like, when the game was brought down to that simplified state, it forced it into a, you know, turn-to-turn -turn kind of back-and-forth thing. And modern Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, if your decks are optimized, it is very hard for it to be like that. Modern game. Imagine playing games. Okay, we can persuade. That you. is the only thing we can do. That's the only thing. Because I, we are rushing through now. That's the only thing I care to do. <laughs> Did it say we needed anyone specific deployed for that? Because I would assume we need like Gerald or something. Uh, that'll strategies. Be strategies. 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 Strategy. It doesn't say. No, anything. we don't need Gerald deployed. Geralt. That's a different property. You're a different property. Technically, yes. The Adams family is a different property. You are a different property. Um... I just I just like card games yeah. and and a lot of the ideas they bring to the table. I can acknowledge many of the problems that are present in them, including the card games I enjoy. Yeah. But yeah. And that's that's perfectly fine. You're allowed to like those things. I don't think I do. And that's and also that's okay. fine. That's fine. A little upsetting, but fine. <laughs> I think you might like deck building more, baby. I don't, I don't, I don't know, because deck building's like what I hate. <laughs> well, look, deck builders no, are not like, like not everybody like starts out decks. with these same cards, and there's a market in the middle okay. that um, some cards will let you buy those, like those other cards. And then yes, yeah, I, as the game I, progresses and you do more things, 
you add more cards to your deck. Yeah, I, I might, I think I would enjoy something like that. And I think most of those games, like, sometimes some of them are random, the cards you get. Sometimes you can pick which cards you can get. So that's how it becomes sort of a thing, like, uh, maybe from the beginning, if you have a knowledge of the game, like, uh, I for I forget what is it Marvel uh, Champions is that what it's legendary. called? Um, not Marvel Champions. Um, legendary is the deck. Builder. I think that might yeah, but there is a Marvel deck building game, and I think, uh, like you, you pick like the base thing for your deck, sort of. Marvel Snap is apparently very. Good. I enjoyed what I've played of that. Uh, but uh, yeah, legendary, you choose a hero. Yeah, and and but from some there, of the you just build the deck. Yeah. You start and, off all the and like stuff. I said, it's kind of like sometimes some the cards you get are random. Sometimes you can kind of pick them, sort of, right? Um, I've never actually played it. No, there's still a market in the middle. Okay. So like, there's a deck, and whenever somebody buys okay. buys a card from it, like they'll they'll add it to their card, and then yeah. at the end of their turn, they'll refill the market. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. So so the thinky in that game is more. Okay, so I pick this hero. I want my deck to do this thing. I'll get cards that do that. If someone else grabs them, it's like, okay, how do I sort of acclimate for that? You ready to get in there? Let's get in there. Let's do it. Yeah, we probably want to do that. We don't want our people to die. I mean, the people I brought with us are probably going to be fine. But um, gets her her new class. Dies. Immediately, just makes her a backpack. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Bernie. Not Bernie, Shamir. They're both bow knights. Shut up. Don't let this place fall. Here I go. No, the pegs. No, Papagos. <laughs> Balti, go do a thing. Is she a holy knight? She's a great knight. What the fuck? Just like Gerald. She's pretty good. Oh, wait, no, Gerald's a holy knight. That's a weird fucking class progression for her. That would have taken her through Armor Knight. Maybe she's just that because she's defending a point. I hope that's all it is. Maybe. I, I'm just going to take Bernie and run through here and kill all the punchies. She's not a good knight. She's a great knight. Oh, we got to rescue Hanneman? I mean, we could. He's not playable. <laughs> he's not. Nope. No, he's not playable in this game. There's, like, three or four characters from houses that aren't playable in this game. And it's just a big, like, why? Does this one take place after? Uh, Yes to both, in no a, to both. In a separate This timeline. is okay. basically, yeah. During and in a separate time. Now. Yeah, so... Other, other world. Yeah. Basically, you can kind of infer that 
the very beginning part of this game, the things that happened there also happened in houses, except uh, in this game for whatever, because main character of this game is Shez, who their mercenary company came into contact with Violets before the event of houses, like six months before, and uh, Shez's company got wiped out and they fucking died in the original timeline. But uh, I, I guess what it's supposed to be is, for whatever reason, uh, in this timeline, things happen a little differently, and Shez survives. I see things. Which oh, then uh, has consequences for how the rest of the story plays out. Okay, so we got a trickster... He said, "Duty." Warrior gauge is filling up. Hello. Hello. I rescued the citizen. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Looks like we can. Maybe we can. Panna, panna. Yep, we can. We can. Uh, I'm on a horse. I'll run up there and help. <laughs> oh, hands. It said he was in trouble. He's fine. I'm on a horse. Still. It's, it's, I'm on a horse and I have a bow. It's saying he's in trouble because we can go up there now. But, uh... But, uh... Yeah, the, it's... But, uh, all the same characters stay relevant in some way or another, but for whatever reason, there's a few characters that were playable in houses that are not playable here. And the characters that weren't playable in houses that are playable. Well, I mean, two of them make sense because of the events of houses. They weren't super relevant or actually even there in houses. Yeah. And also arrive. Ha! It's funny, because Jizz. Steven. Steven. <laughs> but, uh... I, I think, if I really think about it, I know the reason why those characters did not return as playable. And I think they were the least popular characters. Hannah? S Cyril? Cyril? Gilbert? Gilbert! Eloise? Not yeah. popular? The non mon What are the odds that these are all terrible? The non- <laughs> The non-mommy characters? What? Kind of. People don't like... Men? <laughs> Oh, that's what we're doing right now. Awesome. Yeah. But, I don't know. Even even if they're unpopular, like... You went through the trouble of giving... Of still having them in the game. Recording voice lines for them. Having them appear in battles as NPCs or bosses. Either one. Like... 
it can't be that difficult to just let them be recruitable. Nope. It can be. Also, like, if they're unpopular and... Like, like if, if they're unpopular and this is a game where, like, you're basically deploying four people for every battle, what's the fucking point? <laughs> you say that, but they left in characters like fucking Caspar and Linhart. And I don't dislike them, but they they just feel kind of meh to me yeah, almost all the time. They're like the fucking classmates, like... Light hot it makes sense for them to be playable. Because they're like available from the get go, depending on who you go with. And I, I, I haven't seen character popularity polls for three houses. So I might be just assuming that those four take the bottom spots as the least popular characters in the game. But even if they did, and even if they're not going to be seeing as much play, it's not like it's an online game where, you know, characters are actually played and there's, like, usage stats and shit like that's going to matter for balancing. Why not just let them be playable? Because those are somebody's favorite characters. It's not open. They it is, not, it is like Pokemon. Be. Those are somebody's favorite characters. I've seen people on the subreddit arguing that Gilbert is a good character. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> I agree, but it's an opinion that somebody has. And they should be summarily killed. I've seen people ship Cyril and Lysir Lysithia. I've seen uh, someone going on about how, like, Hanneman is, uh, like, he's got all the makings of a protagonist, but he just doesn't get the screen time or relevance of one. Well, he has the makings of a form of protagonist. <laughs> and, and, I'll, and I'll be honest, uh, as different from Gilbert... Hanneman can pull off the uh, the uh, somewhat attractive older man thing. Silver Fox, is that what it's called? Yes. It's not what I'm into, that? but he can do that. When are we going to get what? I don't fucking know. Maybe she just has to survive the battle. Because that's how you recruit Dorothea in uh, Golden Wildfire in the battle she appears in. She just has to survive, and you choose to persuade her, and it happens in like a, a cutscene after the battle or something. Where's the minimap? Where am I? There's the minimap. I've just noticed there's two minimaps, and I'm always looking at yours, not mine. Huh? Uh, I don't. There's so much of the map left, it feels like this won't end it, right? Oh, should I just go for it? Yeah, go for it. Okay. What else are we doing? Fair enough. Because I just want to make sure I don't end the map early. Wait, there's a chest somewhere. I, I got a key. Oh, this is all blocked. Right oh, yeah. Killing Pilardo isn't going to end the map. No, I'm going to say no. Either that or it's going to be another body double. That's a lot of damage. Fucking Polaro. You had to say your last words and that's what you picked? Fucking weak. Fucking Polaro. Can I go this way? Ah, I can go this way. Matodi. It's not Felix. Nope. I will say, I don't get why in Houses, Matodi was an Imperial General. But here he's just a fucking douche. He's a toady. He's a toady. 
What is Lawrence? That's not Lawrence, is it? No, that's Hubert. What is he doing all the way over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Burt. Yeah, I'm told him to do that thing. Ah, that's fair. What the fuck up here? Orders, Captain? I read you. Yes, sir? In the rear with the deer. That's the golden deer for you. That's the golden rear for you. Ah, you scared me. But like, with all the effort they went through to still have them in the game, it just feels arbitrary that they're not playable. You know what I mean? <laughs> and 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 of those four, like, feels like just. I don't know. Like, I actually don't have anything against Aloise. I just rag on him for the bit. Cyril kind of annoys me. Gilbert I actually don't like. And I literally have nothing against Hanneman. I don't have anything against Hanneman, but I also don't have anything for Hanneman. <laughs> I mean, I like him well enough. My, my, thing, with, toes. my I, thing with Hanneman is I literally, like, he could exist or not and it would be my life would be exactly yeah. the same and <laughs> I will say I think what a Ouch. lot of those four's <laughs> problems are they all have the same problem that they are uh, they they are one uh, faculty and church members so you don't automatically get control of them no matter what route you play in three houses and they can even be missed mm. if you don't go out of your way to talk to people and do recruiting. Uh, and because, like, because they they don't become recruitable until later, whereas all the students you can start persuading from like the moment you get the recruit command. I would argue should be missed. <laughs> well, what I'm getting at is uh, the students. You you like. You already have your in-house students, so chances are you're probably not getting rid of them in most cases. Uh, and because you've been seeing the others, you're more apt to recruit them, and they've been around longer by the time you get access to the to the four who want to play over here. But that's that's not all it is, because Catherine, Shamir, Sedith, Flame, they're all church staff and and faculty and knights as well, so why wouldn't they be suffering from the same issue and be unpopular and be unplayable in this game? Well, for starters, Catherine and Shamir are hot women. Yeah. So that gives them an edge. Yeah. Uh, Flame is... Is Seth's brother. Is Seth's brother, yes, and is an adorable little cinnamon bun. People are going to love her for that. And she's also someone somewhere's type. Uh, do we do the side quest before we kill them? I don't know if this ends the map, and I we're working on the side quest. Map's not over. Mm. Uh, let me play this real quick. Uh, still gotta kill that Gremory. I can run up there and do that. I'm right here. But uh, they. Uh, She's she's someone's type. I uh, can't say she's mine, but she's someone's type. Uh, so again, gives her an edge in all those regards. And then Sedith, sure, he's not a woman, but he's, but he's still brother. he is Sedith's brother. But he's still he he's Dragon Daddy for one. Yeah. Uh, for two, uh, he and Flame both. Uh, and Catherine, I er, do you get Catherine automatically? I don't remember, but Leonie's been poisoned. You. That's what it is. We have to make sure she escapes, and then we get her. But uh, I've initiated the strategy. Okay, I won't finish this guy off, but I will drain a health bar. We have to escort Leonie out of here, and if she survives the mission, we get her. I'm pretty sure. She's right up here with you guys. 
But it looks like she wants to take this path, so let's just send Hubert to open that bridge okay. so she can get across. Cape Canaveral. But, uh, Sedith and Flane, you auto-recruit them. You don't have to go out of your way to get them. And because they're auto-recruited, you're more apt to use them. And they're Sedith's brothers. And they're Sedith's brothers, that's true. Uh, Shamir, I know for sure you don't auto get. You do have to go out of your way to recruit her. But I is it really I, that much out of your way? No, because she's a hot woman. Hell oh, yeah, bro. And I, you fucking should be. I might be making this up, but I really don't think I am. I don't think you auto get Catherine. I think you do have to manually recruit her. I think you have to manually do it, but I don't think you have to do anything special. Or no, it's the same with all the the faculty and staff. All you have to do is level up, which you do as you're playing the game. As you. Okay, Leonie got out, so we get her. Yeah. So all we have to do now is kill this demonic beast, and we're good to go. I get her. You've got Shadow Slide. Just teleport over here. No. Okay. I'm almost there anyway. That's a week too sword. I know he's weak to sword, that's why I was waiting for you. Those four specifically, Cyril, Gilbert, Alois, Hanneman, they all have those those problems in common. They while they are easy recruits that you have no business missing unless you're just not talking to them, they are missable. You don't auto recruit them, so you do have to go talk to them to get them. And they're not women. And while some of them are more conventionally attractive than others. Uh, yeah, while some of them are more conventionally attractive than others, like, fucking, like I said, Hanneman kind of sort of pulls off the Silver Fox thing, but that's not everyone's thing. Uh, Alois, he's, he's, an all, he's a fun guy, I'll give him that. I rag on him for the bit, but he's alright. But... S supporting him is platonic. It's a platonic S support, which people don't want. What? Mega Mind. He works out exclusively at the library. <laughs> it's the same with Gilbert. His S support is is uh, what you call it platonic, but also he's just an awful person. Yeah, he sucks a and, million asses. And he has a problem that the other three don't have. He is exclusive to the Silver Snow route. Uh, or not Silver Snow, Azure Moon. If you're playing any other route, you won't get him. Also, he sucks a million asses. That's why I said he's also a horrible person compounded on top of everything else. Yes. I just need to keep reiterating that he sucks a million asses. There are dark bishops targeting the evacuation center. Is it a side mission? No. Okay, I don't no. care. About. So, we just have to kill Solon before that goes bad. Becomes an issue. Just, just to be on the safe side. You're not doing anything. Because these regular villager guys, they'll go down pretty quickly. And then we'll lose Leon. But I want to interfere. I want to interfere. I want to interfere. 
Oh shit, your wall's gone. You know what I'ma do? I'ma I'm interfere. interfere. What are you doing? What am I doing? For? I'm, I'm interfering. Are you? No. Good. Not bad. Not bad. Real bad. That's so. Foiling my plans. Foiling That's your plans. the end. We're gonna uh, fucking kill you. Who are you? Yes. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Try stopping him. <laughs> hey Hubert. Hey Hubert. I close my eyes, but I open them back. But you cannot say, right here even if you don't like any of them, that it just feels arbitrary given everything that they still have in this game that they are not playable. Watch. There's no watch at all. Must be some kind of dragon. Locate a thing, and that means, and that means, he took the dragon ball. Nice. What about funding for rebuilding? The slithery people. The slithery people. The slithery people. Cyril has his moments, but I'm not big on him. And Gilbert, I just don't like. Sucks butts. I will say, again, and I'll be done after that, it just doesn't make sense to me, given everything they still have, that they are not playable. You won't be done. This will make things easier. We got Lenny! 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 Leonie and her bodyguard. Why was it so important for us to suddenly convene like this? Then who's this dude on the left? Who's that guy? Ferdinand. Have you not the flock of messengers coming in? What about number 34? <laughs> <laughs> We don't talk about poor no no We don't we talk should. about poor no That's not good. Seven foot cops crabs up in its bush. Damn. <laughs> That pole like it's full with kush. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> what are you doing? What? <laughs> Bad things. That's what. I'm making what we don't talk about porno over here. <laughs> you should write that down and never say it. 
ever again. You should write that down and then set the paper on fire. <laughs> and then feel bad. Send it to the witches. Wait, what? Oh, I'm the kitty cat. <laughs> 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 you know, if we were playing on casual, we could not casual, classic, we could make him a friendly ghost. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> We could make him not be in our eyesight anymore. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, Starfire. Oh, yeah. Put your drift out of goddamn mind. <laughs> I tell you what. Immediately and decisively. Try to look on the bright side, Your Majesty. This could be our chance to dispose of everyone who opposes you in one place. You know, because this is a two-year time skip instead of a five-year time skip, so she's on her way to being done being a shut-in recluse. So she has some semblance of trying to do something with her hair, but that's it. It's not my favorite, but I like it. It grows on you after a while. I like it better than I did initially. Yeah. I mean, I get she's keeping her hair out of her eyes with the bows, but it's just silly. Yeah. Silly I mean, she's kind I mean, of a it, silly goose. Like I said, it seems believable mm -hmm. for someone who's who's just super fucking neat gamer shut in, and then they are trying to be less of that. What's that like? I couldn't tell you, my guy. You could. <laughs> Your armor's so pink. It's so pink. You're so pink. You look like a fish. Fenja and Menja. Somebody threw their cloak in the wash with my armor. <laughs> I'm a salmon today. <laughs> Ruined all my whites. Now everything I own is coral. <laughs> We're a landlocked state. Sucks. <laughs> Her fucking armor does not look like that in her portrait. Neither nope. did the assassin two seconds ago, but you didn't call him out. Well, it wasn't as noticeable. Obviously. <laughs> She's so hate. <laughs> Also, fuck this guy. And his helmet's red. I had only one sprite for each of these. Yeah. They'll pilot swap things, just not in the picture. No, that's too much work. That, leave, leave, that that. For, leave that for the persona people. <laughs> that. That's why they're not playable. Because they're like, we've run out of time. I can't. Captain Crunch is here. Run out of time for what? Making the game. <laughs> Making those characters playable. Well, that's the thing. They show up in battles as NPCs and bosses. Yes, but you're not controlling them. It, They're probably not finished enough for players to control them. Well, that's... If their in-battle model is done, everything else is already done. No, it's not! <laughs> well, the... Uh, 
He does have a point, though, because, like, everybody, based on their class, basically shares an animation sheet. Yeah, so they all share the same animation. It's all the same. They all share the same outfits, with the only difference being their color palettes. Which, sure, color palettes take time, but how much time... And, and, and like, the only thing that would really be left to do is that would take any other sort of considerable amount of time is uh, whatever specialized animation they have for their warrior special, which they don't even use in all classes. They Most classes, they're going to have the generic animation. Because, like, Dorothea only does her Love! thing as a Gremory or a Warlock, but no other class. She just uses the generic animations. So, they only... They, they, they would have that. Uh, in the game's coding, apparently, Hanneman has voice lines for if he were playable and doing shit. I don't know about the others, but I know for sure Hanneman does. So, so a little bit more recording. But, like... I... Says, once, once a date is set, that, that's the day... Like, I know, and I get a lot of things. So it's like we have to either I finish these other parts of the game, or we have these other people play. I know, and I get that, but I just I have a hard time believing it was a time constraint. And if it was, we're now close to a year out from launch. It, I don't see why they wouldn't have finished getting them ready and then just patched them in. How well did this game? I mean, it, it, I'm sure it didn't do awful. And also, Koei Tecmo kind of churns out games they, they probably moved on to in the next project. They did DLC for the first Fire Emblem Warriors. They've done, they did DLC for both, uh, well not both, because wasn't the first Hyrule Warriors like a GameCube game or something, but they did uh, DLC for Age of Calamity. The uh, first Hyrule Warriors was a... Uh, Uh, Wii U game and also a 3DS game. Oh, well, they probably did DLC for that, but I won't say for sure because I don't know for sure. I mean, you can just search Hyrule Warriors DLC online. I'm just saying. But there's. Not really DLC for Persona 5 Strikers. It is not. Within two months of release, the game shipped over 1 million units worldwide. Just at a cursory Google glance. Mm -hmm. Which isn't a whole lot, but like. Fire Emblem really didn't start doing a whole lot better than that until, like, Awakening. <laughs> So hear me out. I've got a stupid idea. I'm sure there's some developer interview somewhere where they were asked why are these guys not playable and I just haven't read it. But I, I, I don't know. I just have a hard time believing it was just time constraints. Maybe that played some into it, but... Because of how, how shared a lot of things are across the characters. Like, hell, if you put characters into, like, the War Master class, they're their attire for that if you have them in the class specific thing it'll make them look buff even if they aren't that's how shared some things are but uh 
I maybe it played some into it, but I don't think Actually. if that was part of it, I don't think that was all it was. You're tough to read. I can't get a read on you. <laughs> really? The emotionless blank slate that is basic is hard to read? Wild. Kamisaba? He has a model. So do I. I'm not in the game. You have a model? Yeah. You have a 3D model of yourself? Yeah, I'm right here. Fuck you. In three dimensions. <laughs> and I've wait a couple seconds. A fourth. Yeah? I've moved through time. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Take that, geometry. H.G. Wells got you beat. True. <laughs> True. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh, no. Please just let me talk to one of you. Damn it, I've talked to Jaritza. Well, technically, you just listened to him. You didn't talk to him. I was talking now. Yeah, but she's was isn't talking to Jaritza. He's only listening to him. I'm oh, about now to you talk have to, to talk him. to him. I'm about to talk to him. Well, I mean, you, you could just be directing this at Mercedes. I made Mercedes happy and not him. I win. There you go. Oof. Out of here, Alucard looking motherfucker. Well, if he looked more like Alucard, I might enjoy him better. Dollar General brand. He needs a better cape. He's got a half cape. He doesn't even have a half cape, he's got an arm cape. Yeah. It's, a half it's the same cape. kind of cape the house leaders have. Hate it. Just longer. Bad. Sucks. <laughs> It, I do also wonder, though, like, I'm glad that they in, introduced in two of their cases and made playable in all three of their cases Holst, Rodrigue, and Monica. Monica. But, like, why those guys and not why the characters people right? wanted to be playable, like Judith and Ladislava and Nadir? Yeah, I, I would have liked Judith instead of Rodrigue, personally. said the wrong thing. Who'd you piss off? Woody. Oh. Uh, I thought Ash again. It's always Ash. Did you talk to him last time? I think you skipped him. Was that on purpose? I've slept since then. No, you haven't. It was earlier tonight. I've slept since then. I sleep. I sleep. I really don't think you have. I've slept since then. Hi! November used to be cold. Yes, Grandma, that's entirely your fault. <laughs> nice.
Let me okay, me. someone's saying here that uh, Cyril, Hanneman, and uh, Aloise are all playable. I don't think that's true. Have you played the whole game? I have not, but he's saying Aloise becomes playable when you recruit a certain two other characters. Odds on who those are. And I've recruited them twice. Maybe in the kingdom now. Cyril would be locked to the kingdom route since he's with the church. I mean... Hanneman would be playable in this route if he's playable. Probably. Well, according to to another more reliable source, in my opinion, uh, we have reached the end of recruitment for this route. So unless this guy got it with some like super secret way that I don't know about, he's super secret, man. Nice they made Gatekeeper playable, but, like, I love the Gatekeeper, and I'm glad that he's playable, but, like, if he's playable and those aren't, I really don't think it's just time constraints. Now, nah, Gatekeeper's definitely more important. Come, come to think of it. Let me tell you. I'll tell you what. Yeah? I'll tell you what. Gatekeeper's definitely more important. Definitely more people's favorite character than Cyril. I'll tell you what. Apparently they all have dining preferences in the data also. Do you have dining preferences in the data? You know what I'm saying, you fuck. Is there really no, like... Dev interview about this? <laughs> Why would anybody interview anybody about this game? Is this a different goddess? This is a god. Oh. Uh, and technically, they are non binary, apparently, so it should be a they. They is a god. They deity. Uh, well, we don't know that they're a god. But they are a being that lives in our head, well, you free, like Sothis does in in uh, Byleths. You should probably know whether or not they are a god. I know whether or not they are a god, but the collective we do not. Are they a demon? A demon? Are they a demon? Or a demon? A demon? Are they an ashen demon? Are they a G-man? I hate you. And you. I mean, it yeah. would it would be thematically appropriate for them to be an ashen demon. Are you a god? Because no. I'm curious. Now. I'm gonna throw this up in Reddit and Cause... see if someone can link me to yeah, an interview I... somewhere. Because they are ashen. So are you? What? You're white. Thanks, That's not Ash. Ashen is like whitish gray. I know. I'm being facetious. Being a dick is what you're being. <laughs> Takes one to know one, you fuck. <laughs> Be rude. Takes one to know one. What are you doing back there? Just hanging Struggling. out. Struggling. <laughs> they're practicing their cup stacking <laughs> like they need to get the motions down before they get the cups you know uh, what oh they did a character spotlight for her for engage and according to the translation she devotes her time to bodybuilding oh yeah ergo oh yeah Ergo. Ergo. 
Show, show the man. The sleeves are gone. Yeah. These are my pajamas. They still have sleeves. sleeves. This might make more sense. Yeah, this is the official artwork shown for her. And according to the Japanese translation, she devotes her time to bodybuilding. So unless, you know, those aren't puffy sleeves and she's got, like, some sort of Popeye, Popeye. situation going. Oh, she, she needs did. to go to the hospital. <laughs> those are blood clots. Yikes. I mean... Those aren't muscles. Mr. Sailor, those. I mean, it's tumors. probably some sort of oh. indirect translation, and rather than bodybuilding, it's just like maybe she likes to work out. I work out. Because I mean, you got you got to have arm strength to use a bow. So mm -hmm. work out. She's an archer. You're an archer. I do like archers, but I think I prefer to be a mage. Engage. I'm Vern Mage. Are you? Let me see. Minutes left out. Hey, she's with us. Let me introduce you to this man you've met before. She's with us. I've already had the pleasure of meeting him. Look at this ruggedly handsome man. He's my dad. This guy's my dad. No, I'm not. But it's the thought that counts. But you are, though. You better be. He just said he doesn't remember taking her on as his apprentice. The fucking liar. Oh, he told he talked to us about her. Alright, there's Sojuro. <laughs> Why is she so orange? Because that's her color scheme. She likes orange. I mean her herself. Lighting. <laughs> she out in the sun. I mean, everybody the, is. The color of Shizu's hair on his model doesn't match the color in his portrait. But she's just visibly orange. Yes, and that doesn't match her portrait. I don't care about the portrait. I'm looking at the other folk. I think she likes sunflowers. I could be wrong, though. More like gun flowers, am I right? Those would be so cool. It's called Pete. What? Pete. Pete? Pete. Pete? What? Pete. Pete? I'm so confused. It's a... It's a plant that... To spread its seeds, it explodes and shoots basically pellets. Pellets of sperm! Nice. Just come. If I had to go out, it shoots the that'd seeds be how I go out, like just a blowing shotgun. up and shooting sperm everywhere. At whatever. To stick the seeds onto things. To stick my seed onto things. Oh my god. What? She's not done yet. <laughs> You're just gonna give her everything in the convoy. Yeah. Baby's breath. I would have. Imagine, like, Baby's Breath. Just. They named it that because it smells rank as fuck. <laughs> God damn it, she's still not finished. Have a meal with her. I don't know. She demands more. Give me compliments. <laughs>
we gonna piss him off this time? Jeez. That's all we we brought him along for was for him to be angry as it feels like. Jeez. Jeez. I can. You can what? I said I can't imagine a father and son trying to kill mm -hmm. each other. If you've played Fire Emblem, you've probably seen that at least once or twice. At least once. Maybe even three times. My cheese. My cheese. That wasn't a father and son trying to kill each other. No. Yeah. No. That needs to be the line that every di every dying dad says from here on out. Gerald. No! <laughs> Rudolph. No! <laughs>
can be the difference between victory and defeat. This is... I'm gonna let Reddit, Reddit do the heavy lifting and see if they can find anywhere where they say on record why those four aren't playable. Hey Reddit. She doesn't want to care for the horses. She wants to maintain the equipment. But go back up to caring for the horses real quick. Not only the Gerald, though. Why isn't Bernie up here? She's got a hidden talent for riding. Why isn't who all do we have? There's so many fucking people. I'm just upset. Why isn't not... Yuritsa on care for the horses? Because he reads as a piece of garbage, but I'm just upset that um, there's not any overlap between her and Gerald. Yeah. Again, you can do the same thing like you do for Gerald and Byleth. I know. I'm just mad. Because I'm sure she won't be down on caring for the horses. I'm just mad. Hmm. I was saying that we were working on a support for Lane. Is that what it said? I think that's what it said. I feel like that's not true, but let's double check. Let's double check. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Check the support gallery. I bet I know what, what's going on with She's Wiz and Leone. Okay, so here's what it is. C click on click on her. So it's one of two things. Either we don't get this support until later, or because I, I read about this, but I haven't come bumped into it myself yet. There are some supports that even though you get both characters in the root, because of the context of the support and the context of the root, you don't actually get to pop the supports. I just want to take her on an expedition. We are going to have to either wait for that or just not get to do that. Okay, whatever. This is more important. This gets to the whole bunch of garbage. <laughs> Seeing as you're strong as ever, Captain Gerald, I was hoping you'd train with me. Yeah. Your eyes are your eyes are playing tricks. An old man. Your mom's an old man. Um You can't mean that. Factually, I think no. God, you never fucking stop, don't you? <laughs> I never, I'm never off, Captain Cheryl. I worked my whole life to be a mercenary like you, after all. 
I am always turned on. All I'm going to say is, listen to the support, and tell me if you think it's still a, a romantic thing from her. No, yeah, it's... Standing tall. I'll do good, Dad. No, oh, yeah, they they do a better well, they do a better job of it here because they're actually, they actually interacting. Interact. <laughs> like, I think the only t the only time I remember them interacting in houses is the one explore session where they're grouped together and you go talk to them and Leonie's like, hey, how old's your dad? Yeah. He doesn't remember. He's like, why should he know if I don't? <laughs> it's like, it's kind of worrisome if you're forgetting your own age. By the time you're old enough to forget your own age, you're past the point of caring. Yeah. I think there might have been another time after that where they were standing next to each other during an explorer session but you didn't talk to them both at the same time. Standing tall. Yeah, with how much his name comes out of her mouth in houses, I do think it's easy to misconstrue and think that she wants to fuck your dad. And by the by, if you care enough to see it, he has a support with Manuela. I feel like I did it a lot in another life. <laughs> like literally every birthday. When I didn't care enough to hold a tea party. And I feel like I shoved a lot of flowers at people that I wanted to join my class, whatever that means. Oh. Was I a teacher? Am I a teacher? Did I sleep? Have I slept? Try calling me teacher. Does that feel weird? That maybe, feels weird. Hold on, maybe, maybe something professor? else. Like professor? <laughs> Wait, call me my teacher. Oh, I'm wet. Oh, they're kind of talking about that now. I need to ask you a question, and you can't laugh. <laughs> Who's Who is Jesus? Jesus? Unlike that cheese was a guy, I can't get a read on him at all. I cannot get a read on that guy. That guy's wild. <laughs> That's gonna be Citri's favorite flower or something. I should write this shit. <laughs> That one was a pretty easy one. <laughs> that one, that one right there. Text it's RPG writing. It's all fucking textbook. Textbook. <laughs> no, it's text box. Do what I must. 
I just don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> I know what I have to do. I just don't know if I have the strength to do it. Oh, no. I mean, on like oh, I said, on, oh, you can pop the A support. We there can you finally go. finish. You can finally give Edelgard your Merc whistle. I can finally give her the whistle. I hate you. I mean, yes, she's attractive, but god damn it, the guy. I am down the cataclysmically bad. Horrendous. <laughs> I am down. Apocalyptic. <laughs> it's so bad I didn't even say it right. Apocalyptic. It is not identical to the magic you use. <laughs> I'm just looking for someone like me. I wanna, Better keep looking, then. I want to know, can you show me? I want to know about these strangers like me. You'll be in my heart. You'll be in my heart. From this day on, now when. For <laughs> Do up she do. Woo! Woo! Put your faith in what you most believe in. I can't remember any of this. Two songs. worlds, one family. Trust your heart. Let fate decide sure. to guide these lives we see. Stick to the status quo. <laughs> it is better by far to leave things as they are. Don't mess with the flow. No, no. to the sky. I'm gonna trust that that's another Tarzan song because I can't think of any others. <laughs> I know quite a bit of the Tarzan song. It's almost like it was my favorite Disney movie as a kid. It's almost like that. Yeah. You're not like other girls. I'm not like other girls. I am quirky. I have crest cancer. She blushed at that! She, she blushing. She likes that. How, how serious are you trying to get? Not the future I wanted him to talk about. Not the about. future I wanted you to talk about. Eh? 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 No stop until we've united all of both of us. We will reach the end of this path soon. All of us. Together. I, I mean, if you want to be one big fuck pile, I guess. One big fuck pile. I was more thinking just like a you and me kind of thing. But I can do a fuck pile. <laughs> and learning you will teach. There's and some good looking guys and gals around here. You'll find a place beside the one you love. Isn't she like right outside there? There's yeah. no one there to That was right behind you, my guy. No one to take your hand. Oh, with faith and understanding. I've really only come to appreciate Tarzan more in my later years. I didn't care for it a whole lot as a lad. Mm. I do remember this one now that you're singing it. It's very good. It's a very good song. Are we going to give her the whistle? I kind of want to give her the whistle. Are you sure? You will not get another one. Okay. Yeah, I 
face looks weird. Oh, that's rude. It's the camera angle. It's got her face like... She got whoa. games on your phone? <laughs> what? It's like that kind of like zoomed in fisheye thing. Like, you got games <laughs> on your phone? <laughs> but like, I'm not wrong. Uh, right? I, you saw it too. No, I know. I, I know. It's okay, so now you got the Imperial Coat of Arms pen, which you can equip on anyone you want. Oh, check the rec quarter real quick. The what? The recreation quarter. Oh. Can we get more date spots yet? No, that's the bottom one. It said recorder. And I'm like, I said rec quarter. I know, but I was like, just like trip if on If we go buy, what recorder. was that, basic furnishings? Is that what that was? Damn, if we go like, buy some basic furnishings, we can unlock another spot to go on dates. I need basic furnishings. I need to furnish basic. Oh, I mean, she's supposed to be a stand-in avatar, but like, she can get it. <laughs> oh, she can get it. Is that narcissism? She can get it any time she wants. To. Anyway. Um. <laughs> Is that like the thing they do where it's supposed to be funny where they have the character look in the mirror and be like, I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me. I didn't like that. That's the, that's uh, what he sounds like. Doesn't mean I like it. It's supposed to be disturbing. <laughs> Attended effect achieved. You tripped over your words. Oh, I heard it as soon as I said it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's what I was laughing at. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, God, I'm a fucking dummy. I mean, I do mm. Can I afford eight of these? I can. Now I can get all the date locations. Did we need smithing snones for snones for yes? All you use them for is that. Nice. You don't actually use them in smithing. I know. Well, maybe Buff we... looks so distressed. Yeah, he he's worried because somebody, somebody who he owes money to is uh, with the uh, is with Duke Iger. And, uh, oh, you! Oh, like actual reasons. I thought you were about to bullshit something. No, yeah, he he's worried because somebody he owns money to is with Duke Iger, and he's upset not because he might run into them, but because if they die on the battlefield, he won't be able to pay them back, and he'll feel bad about it. <laughs> Dude, that'll clear your debt. <laughs> he's gonna feel bad about it. Feels like he's weaseling his way out of his debt. That's what. That's literally what he said. <laughs> Which he might be joking, but I like to think that he's being genuine about that. <laughs> Rolls up to the guy, punches him in the chest, gauntlets there, blood spurting out. By the way, here's that twenty bucks I owe you. <laughs> Now you have my permission to die. Now you have, then you have my permission to die. Okay. Okay. This guy and Paru, I owe a whole bunch of money to. He's joined. Oh, he didn't tell the whole thing. Because we already did it. 
We're gonna go on a date, Balthus. Oh, okay. I just love you right now. <laughs> but will you love him long time? <laughs> Me so horny. <laughs> Me love. My horny ass could not be a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> My hungry ass could not work at the Amiibo factory. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> There's. <laughs> I saw a picture on Twitter of this like amoeba of this Mario amoeba with a bite taken out of it. It's like my hungry ass could not work at the amoeba factory. What? <laughs> That's so quirky. It's <laughs> so quirky. You've arrived at the bank of the hanky panky. Where the bullfrogs jump from bank to bank. <laughs> I gave some I gave some material to a dude at a counter. He was like, by the way, you can take people on dates here. Let's go play in the water. <laughs> I wanna see your glistening abdomen. No, he would just sit there, water just barely clearing his butt, just like. <laughs> nah, he'll he'll go deep enough into the water just to like where it's just up to his tits, and it's just like in there, you know. He's just like It'd be like sitting in a puddle. He's just. I never learned how to swim. <laughs> they called me Sonic back in Gomeral territory. I've, I never got the reference, but I've got these big ass, big ass weights on the side of my arms. I'm wearing a lot of heavy shit. Take it off, no. It's fused. You think I could chug this? I bet I could. I bet I could. I just took it off the fire. I'm gonna chug it, man. Oh man. My likes, love, money, fighting, women, and gambling. And not necessarily in that order. <laughs> What's your preferred order? <laughs> Give a rueful smile. <laughs> what, what does it mean by rueful smile? What does it mean by that? Let that sink in. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm gonna try that. He liked that. That seemed right to me. Wow, I like that. I'm gonna beat your face in. <laughs> you better keep it up, friend. <laughs> I want to sandwich these fists into the meat that is your head. <laughs> my f my hands are the bread, and you are my roast beef. What do you mean by that? Means I'm gonna clap those cheeks, my guy. <laughs> Literally claps them. <laughs> Destroys your ass. Just completely no. annihilates your butt meat. No better yet. <laughs> While you're both just chilling in the creek and he's sit and he's just sitting there, water up to his tits. He's just <laughs> sitting there, he looks at you and says, like, Hey! You pissing all by yourself over there? You handsome? pissing all by yourself, handsome? <laughs> Not anymore. those cheeks. I hope he means my face. That's a Fire Emblem game. We're surrounded by people who are attractive yet quirky. Okay, so he didn't uh, like this one. He wants oddballs, so let's just sympathize, I guess. 
If we act dependable, we won't be odd, I think. I don't fucking well, know. Well, if we act dependable, maybe we'll be like, I, you can depend on me to be an oddball, you know? If that's how you interpret that, go for that's it. That's how I interpret that. Yeah, he likes Okay, it. okay. Right! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking beat you up. Give me your fucking lunch money, nerd. <laughs> you pissing all by yourself, ass? <laughs> As she was just handing him the money, I think I've discovered something about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Drink it in. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I don't know. <laughs> I've been here... The whole time! <laughs> Balthus, my guy! There's a familiar face. <laughs> you big fucking idiot. This is a good angle right here. <laughs> Giving you the smolder. <laughs> Here comes the smolder. We I can jump. <laughs> I wonder if I could fit the spout in my urethra. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if I can drink it backwards, you know? <laughs> What's going on right now? What's I'm sorry, Balthus, but you've made me incredibly uncomfortable. I need to leave. I need to go home. I need to go, I need to go hug my wife. <laughs> I need to get a wife, and then I need to I hug need her. I need to get a wife so I can hug her. I just need comfort right now. I need Years to go down to the line from now, the night of my wedding, get back to to home with the with the wife. <laughs> and instead of getting, you know, hot and steamy first thing, just wrap my arms around her and start sobbing. Just What's sob wrong? <laughs> I've been waiting for this day. Balthus made me uncomfortable. Balthus made me so uncomfortable. <laughs> the whole reason I courted you was for this. Balthus was your best man. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Different Balthus! Oh, same Balthus. <laughs> what kind of world is this? <laughs> and if it's the kind of world I'm hoping it is... <laughs> Who's, who's the lady? I don't know. It's between you and your Lord Christ Jesus. Who is Jesus? If if the characters from the video games are coming into the real world, I don't think I'm not sure how much of a place Jesus has in that. <laughs> Who is Jesus? I like how the background for the picnic changes n just not really at all. Oh, that's good. That, that was good. Liked that. That? I enjoyed it. <laughs> what do you think of me? You are a mercenary who has earned Her Majesty's respect. You are nothing more to me than that. You know? Oh, you just shifted your eyes. I think that means you're lying and you like me. You know, I appreciate your honesty. Be, of <laughs> be offended. Be dispirited. She did not want that. It was not a joke. <laughs> Mm 
Everyone, huh? That would include a certain merc that seems to mean nothing to you. She didn't like this one. Fuck it. Let's neg her. What? What? Giggles. Fucking nerd. They say the pen is mightier than the sword. Okay. Let's put that to the test. Your pen against my sword. This did not go well. I mean, was it ever going to? She has that one brain cell, and you know what it's for. It's vibrating as fast as it can. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Man, oh, man. I'm just gonna stand here. <laughs> He's holding shit. And that's it. Aelgar's not doing anything. She's just doing the Macarena. <laughs> Turns to Monica. I invented this dance. What do you think of it? <laughs> I think you could say something about the months of the year. <laughs> oh, sorry. Moons of the calendar. Yes. Yes, yes, of course. Is there a version of that that's for the months of the year, or did I just make that up? Uh, my kindergarten teacher did a thing that was like the month arena. I think I remember that. Not the same thing, of course, because we were not in the same kindergarten class. No. But I remember doing s the same thing. Okay, that's interesting, interesting. Wyvern Moon, Pegasus Moon, Great Tree Moon, Red Wolf Moon! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jeez, Sorry, more. Sothis, whatever her last name is. Sothis Rice. I I get the feeling we finish this this explore, and probably maybe be done unless you want to knock out some more. Who's for lunch? Who? Who's for lunch? What? Who's up for lunch? Hunger is the true enemy, my guy. Never have I heard a quote that I resonate with more. <laughs> She'll have supports with the other golden deer. Leone, that is. I mean, if it do pop off, then we'll just be able to knock it all out real quick. <laughs> True. Oh, that's only going to be nice. Damn. This is going to taste like dog shit. Look at it. It's cabbage soup. It sucks. Maybe take a fucking cooking lesson, my guy. I got some paprika. That's all I have. Good for you. How do y'all feel about garlic salt? Are you a garlic powder or onion powder type person? Garlic slices or onion slices?
In that case, you should just keep picking commoners like me for all the important jobs. Rank the numbers, rank the numbers, right? The more of us there are, the less anyone will be able to complain. I believe your point to be a sound one, but putting it into action will only heighten our chances. So it's not sound. <laughs> Try as you may to troll the river for jewels. You will most often find yourself calling up me pebbles instead. I get what you mean. I think. <laughs> Accidentally calling the wrong think. person could really hurt the Emperor's reputation. And to provide the perfect opening for nobles who want nothing more than for commons to be kept in their place. Well, you've got a good smattering of, uh of uh, trustworthy, competent commoners here in your army. Looking at Ignatz, Leone, Raphael, Raphael, Ash, Dorothea, just to name a few. Technically, according to Three Houses, Petra is classified as a commoner, but she's not really... Mercedes. She's she's noble, but she's from another country. So, so it doesn't like, count. So like for here, she's common, you know. They always rub me the wrong fucking way. It's racist. I get it, and I get that her title doesn't carry weight in Fodlin. It's racist. I get it. I do, <laughs> and I know her title carries no weight in Fodlin. Yeah. Unless they choose to have good relations with Bridget, Brigid, which they, uh... <laughs> which is it? <laughs> it can never get a read. Oh it's Bridget. It it's is Bridget. Bridget. It's Bridget. Witness Bridget Pride. But, uh... I know, unless they're choosing to have good, strong relations with Bridget, it, her title carries no weight, which it doesn't until, like, the end of the game. But that wouldn't change the fact that she was raised as a noble. Yeah. And yet, and true, Bridget society works different from Fodlin society in so much as strength is more valued. But you'd still think that she... My whole point, she should get the fucking 5% charisma boost that nobles get. All it feels sense. arbitrary. <laughs> Doesn't it? Just like my stuff. Why are you pissing all by your friends? Donnie Darko? Dude, you're talking out loud in front of me. I can hear you. My man's wearing like dead ass. You have quite mouse the eyes. Uh, uh, Hubert? Yeah. <laughs> what? My man's wearing like dead ass Mickey Mouse gloves. <laughs> what Mickey Mouse were you watching? <clears throat> They're not round enough, but they got kind of the same like uh, stitching on them. Not gonna agree with you on that one, my guy. I'm gonna agree with me on that one. Doesn't count. <laughs> I think I'm right, and therefore I am. Doesn't count. You pissing all by yourself, is? <laughs> hey, it's me, <laughs> Raphael. <laughs> Let me at him. Those cheeks, I mean. <laughs> Just destroys your butt meat. Smashes your cheeks so hard you get sent into orbit. No, he smashes your cheeks so hard that your rump is cooked. <laughs> there is flames. It is hotter than the surface of the sun. Yikes. The intersection of your butt cheeks is the, is hotter than the intersection of the sun. 
<laughs> Sorry, the surface of the sun. Balthus walks past, sees the smoldering pile of ash that once was she's whiz, looks at Raphael. That's quite a load you've got there. <laughs> Is that Reddit? <laughs> Reddit, is that you? <laughs> it's Reddit! <laughs> it was Reddit. <laughs> I was mentioned. Oh, is this some bot account that's trying to? Wait, what? Isn't that what almost got you killed today? <laughs> There's a link. I don't want to click it. Die. I'm not gonna click it. I was right, but at what cost? <laughs> Don't talk to me with your logic and facts. <laughs> sure, whatever you say. The logic is flawed, but it makes a tiny bit of sense. That's there you go. Thanks for not caring whether I live or die. <laughs> I don't care about myself much either. We can give him the Merc Whistle. Not anymore. True. How's our Lysithia support looking? Lysithia. My hand, papa. Uh, we can't do anything about it right now. I know. I know. Uh, getting there. Close. Okay. 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 Oh my god, we're so close. See, this is what I believe the cool kids call edging. Is that what the cool kids call it? Uh, yes, yes it is. And do you wish that you could be like the cool kids? I wish that I Because all the cool kids, they seem to edge. They seem to be edging. <laughs> they are right on the cusp of exploding all of the time. They are constantly leaking just a little bit of cum all the time. Leaving a absolute snail trail. <laughs> if they ever actually let it rip. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip! <laughs> Imagine the mess if, would be cataclysmic. Imagine if when they pulled the cards on the Beyblades, they just went... <laughs> If it was a slightly more mature anime, one of the villains would, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've watched a few animes. One or two. Like, if the target audience weren't ten-year-olds and were instead, like, young adults, one of the villains would. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, man. So are we calling it then, since we've devolved into nonsense? It's up to you. It's 2.14. If you want to try to knock some more out, we can. Uh, uh, I mean, we started the night on what? Chapter 10 and now we're at chapter we're 13? Chapter, we were on chapter 11. We've done two chapters. 
which is about as much as we ever do. Oh, this is cute. Yep. Uh, we can probably just get into it next time because we've we've got we're like ready to launch into the the shits. The only problem is the structure of this game, like giving you cutscenes after you take your first territory and after you unlock the main mission territory. And not that that's a problem, but for this it's a problem because I can't suggest the idea of I can just clear out the territories on the way to the main mission before next time and we can just hop into the main mission. No. Because then we'll miss cutscenes. So many cutscenes. Like Ugh! Like 50 minutes of cutscenes. Honestly, that takes a lot of the time, too. What? No. A JRPG taking up most of your time with cutscenes? I've never heard of it. Ugh. Ugh. You know what I might do? What might you do? Let me see. Because it's... I might... And I'll have to figure out when I have my physical therapy scheduled for it. If I also have that scheduled for Thursday in addition to that gig, I might just move it. Yeah. <laughs> and just head straight over here after my gig next week. Mm. Yee. And then between kind of... And actually, I do think we got a little bit more done than we usually do because we didn't do all the side missions. And especially since now, there's nothing really worth keeping an eye out for with the side missions unless you just want to do side missions. Uh, I think if I got over here around 4.30 or so, between kind of skipping some missions, and as long as we really, really didn't dick around a whole lot during the Explorers, we could probably get through it. Because I'll say, at least one of those chapters we have left, uh, one of them we don't have this like big war map, uh, clear territory after territory I for. feel like at least one of them is going to be just straight into it, which it'll probably one, be the last one. One of them is, I assure you that much. At least one. Good night, everybody. Maybe two, even. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Bye. <clears throat> this time next week, I'll... Who am I fucking kidding? I'll probably be playing Pokemon this time next week. Let me... Uh...